Hello. Christy Fowler, how you doing? Welcome. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Welcome in. As you come in, don't forget to give a thumbs up to the live. I can see all 19 of you. We got eight thumbs up. How's everybody doing? Happy, happy Saturday. I'm, I'm excited to be here with you guys today. Lynette Hama, welcome. Thank you, Christy. Maddie Watts, hello and welcome. Welcome to everybody. Welcome if you're new. Welcome to the returning subscribers. I'm so excited to be here with you. Ron Wilson, welcome. Ladybug, welcome. Mary Jane, welcome. Carmen Torres, hello. Joelle Mason, Renita, Frida, hello. Welcome. Thanks for coming in and joining. We're going to have a super fun time. We're going to have great conversations. We're cooking a delicious, delicious meal today. Everybody, welcome. Come on in as you come in. Look, 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 look. Give a thumbs up to the live, okay? We got 150 people in here. We got 32 people that's giving a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up. I'm here to show you guys a great time. Sonia, welcome. Barbara, Marietta, Precious, welcome. T. Smith, welcome. Tina Short, hello, how are you? Vanzetta, Christy Fowler, one more time. Uh, Tracy Meredith, hello, happy Saturday. Kelly Wells, Diana Green, hello. Kim Cruz, how you doing? Welcome. Barbara Berg, hello, welcome. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are excited. Today, uh, it's so, now, what I'm going to be making today is a recipe you may have seen me make before, but guess what? It's so tasty, so delicious. So tasty, so delicious. I'm going to be making um, Warsugai chicken. It's a battered fried chicken. And we're going to make like this chicken gravy. Okay, and you serve it along rice, lettuce, and peanuts, and green onions. It is spectacular. It's spectacular, so tasty, delicious. Jeannie Young style. Who's excited? Pandora Bull, hello. Paula Jackson, welcome. Okay, okay, Diana. Diana says, I'm excited, Gina. Valencia, hi, how are you? How do I say your name? Tabby Cat 29, welcome. Thanks for coming in and joining today. Sharon Bartley, hello. Okay, let's go, you're excited. Okay, great, so we are. We're gonna get ready to go, but I need a couple more people to come in. And also, I need the thumbs up to match with the people that's in here during this live, okay? But we'll get started very soon. Once a few more people, since I just started, we need to give other people some time to get into the live. It does, Nikki. Oh my goodness, Nikki. This recipe, you're going to love it. Trust me. Tiffany Reed says, hey, how you doing? Welcome. Dakota, do me a favor. Go get, um, you know where my hats are in the guest room? Go get my white hat. It's just a completely white hat, and it's right on top. You don't even have to open the bag. I love you too, Connie. Thank you. Ladybug, how you doing? Thank you all. <laughs> Naima is back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nancy, how you doing? Hello, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. And happy Saturday. Saj, welcome. Latricia Green, hello. Listen, here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to, okay, because we'll be on here for a couple hours today. So we can have time to cook and then we'll have time to chit chat for a while. So what I want to do and what I want for you all to do is write down any conversations that you want to have, 
If you got a good conversation piece, write it down. So when I'm when I stop cooking, we can talk about everything under the sun and keep a good conversation going. So if you got a good topic, write it down and don't forget to bring it up. You know, when I get time after cooking and we can talk about all kinds of stuff, okay? Today's going to be a happy Saturday. It's going to be a fun day. Welcome. We'll probably give about, oh, let's just say maybe five more minutes um, into the live and then we'll get started, okay? Give some more people to give a thumbs up, more people to come into the chat. Latika, how you doing? Stacy Jackson, welcome. <laughs> Fauza, how do I say your name? Fauza, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Maria, hello. And Raymond, Raymond just woke up from an amazing nap and you're wide awake now. Okay, Raymond, that's great. Okay, you said you have time today. Okay, this is awesome. So I have all of my ingredients out. If there's anybody that um, wants um, to know what we're going to be using today, I can take this time while we're waiting on the thumbs up to come up, waiting on a few more people to come in. I can take this time to tell you all the ingredients you're going to need, okay? K okay, Coffee, welcome. So, Deku Game Player Boy, hello, welcome. So now listen, if you want to make this recipe, you're going to need um, a half a cup of cold water plus two tablespoons of water, okay? And, and if you don't have your pen and paper now, you can always refer back to this same live or just replay it. And watch it and you'll see okay I'm gonna say that one more time you're in and, and so the ingredients I'm gonna tell you right now is for uh, the batter for this chicken ever went out to Asian recipe or Asian restaurant and you had their battered chicken and you thought how do I make this at home I have the secret I'm telling you right now a half a cup of cold water two plus two tablespoons of water okay two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two teaspoons of baking powder. We're gonna use three-fourths of a cup of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of um, cornstarch, one large egg. You're gonna need chicken, and I'm going to suggest that you use chicken thighs, but the people that love chicken breast, by all means, you can use chicken breast. You know you can, right? You're going to chop it up, of course. We're going to season our chicken using salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. We're going to use vegetable oil to fry the um, meat in, but you can also use like um, peanut oil if you're not allergic to peanuts or avocado oil, okay? We're going to need peanuts that we're going to crush up to serve with this recipe, green onions and lettuce, and then we're going to be making an amazing chicken gravy, and all we need for this chicken gravy is a 32 ounce of chicken broth, uh, corn starch to thicken it, chicken bouillon powder to season okay, and uh, we're just going to serve it with rice aroni along the side, okay? So that's pretty much it, but we'll we'll talk about it again, okay? This isn't the only time you're going to see or hear the ingredients. Let me get my hat on so we can rock and roll. You know, once I get my hat on, I am ready to go, y'all. All right, we're going to do this. Get ready to have a ton of fun, y'all. Write down any conversation you want to have. Write it down so we can talk about it. <clears throat> Purple Love, welcome in. Thanks for coming in and joining us today. <clears throat> Maureen Butler, is it, is it Maureen Butler? Hello and welcome. <clears throat> My Holy King, welcome. Faza Said, hello. Okay, wait, I gotta get the hair out of my... <laughs> Hold on. All right, make sure, first thing we're gonna do 
is we are getting ready to get started right now. I'm gonna wash my hands. You always wanna make sure your hands are impeccably clean, right? Drew Moss, hello, thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. All right, Sherry Aaron, hello. Thanks for coming in and joining us. It's great to see you guys. All right, so now we're gonna flip the camera. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my hands and then we need to chop some chicken up and go ahead and get that chicken seasoned. And the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make the batter. This recipe, well, here's the thing, when you're, when you're cooking live, things seem to take much longer than it would naturally take to make if I, if I wasn't talking and having conversations and reading messages, right? And responding back to you guys. So just know that if this live wasn't going on, the recipe comes together so quickly, okay? If you're ready to rock and roll, say, let's go. Lynetta comma or Lynette comma. Hello. Oh, you cook greens. Okay. Oh, you're making greens and ribs tomorrow. That's great. Okay, let's go. All right. Let me flip the camera and we're going to get started. Give a thumbs up. If you look up and you realize you didn't give a thumbs up, go ahead and give a thumbs up. All right, so you're seeing the kitchen right now. If at any time you have any issues with the lighting or the sound, let me know and we'll fix it. <laughs> Everybody's saying, let's go. Okay, here we go. And here we go. <laughs> My family couldn't be more excited for this recipe today. And I tell you what, I'm super excited to make this for them. They live for the, hey, listen, my family lives for this recipe. They love it so much, but they're not the only one that loves it. I love this recipe so much. This may have begun to be one of my favorite recipes out there. And you know what? I'm not even kidding when I say this. Fix my shirt for me so they can see the Gina Young in the back. Hold on. Can they see the Gina Young style in the back of my shirt? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, everybody, I'm coming around. Fun with Gina Young. Okay, my messages are gone. And they're back. Okay. Got some fun stuff getting ready to happen here. <clears throat> Who's happy we're doing this today? All right, I tell you what, I'm super happy. Let me put the messages where I can see them. Make this a bit bigger. I'm gonna wash my hands, guys, and then we'll get started chopping up our chicken and then making an amazing batter for the chicken, okay? All I need you to do is make that bigger. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, let me wash my hands. <clears throat> Happy Saturday if you're just now coming in. Happy day today. I hope you all are having great weather where you're at. Looks like we're gonna have an early spring. I could be more excited about that, right? Is there anybody that's super excited about the spring coming early? It's me, I'm definitely excited. I love the warm weather, y'all. I love the warm weather. All right, so now here's what we're gonna do. Let me move these items, okay? That's for my batter. And right away, I want to get started chopping up my chicken, seasoning the chicken, and making the batter. Get a pen and a pencil out. You need this recipe. Oh, you need this recipe. I know who you are. You need this recipe. Okay, so my chicken has been washed off <clears throat> using a little bit of lemon juice, salt, and cold water. Okay? Easy peasy. 
If you don't have lemon juice, you can always use vinegar, salt and cold water to wash your chicken, or just use, you know, some water. Rub it together and get it nice and clean, okay? Jamani Patterson, thank you for giving a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Okay, let's dump it. Dump the chicken. Okay, what, what, here, do you want me to scoop my table up to it? Okay. All right. Get my knife. So now, um, there is some pieces of fat on my chicken, and I definitely want to address that. If you happen to see any fat on your chicken, you know what you're going to do. Just cut it right off, okay? Pretty simple. There may be some people that likes to leave it on there if you want to. Absolutely you can, okay? But my family doesn't really like to bite down into a, a piece of fat like I do, right? So I typically like to take it off unless I'm the only one cooking. If I'm the only one cooking, I leave that fat on for good flavor, right? Is there anybody out there that loves fat? <laughs> I love the meat fat, but we know it's not good for you in the end, right? Okay, so we're just gonna take it, chop it into bite-sized pieces, right? I, for some reason, I wanted to say biteable size, biteable sizes. Bite-sized pieces, just like so. This part, simple, simple. There is nothing, when you see this recipe, there's nothing hard about this recipe, and I need you all to just kind of trust me on that, okay? So, <clears throat> I'll be putting the chicken in this pan here, all right? So, I'm going to continue to take the fat off. And as I'm doing this and cutting the chicken, I'll be peeking over here at my computer. I can see everybody's comment nice and big. So we can just keep the conversation going. And every once in a while, I'll look over and we can just chit chat while we do this, okay? Super fun here at the Young's House. Jumbo paper clips, welcome. <laughs> okay, okay. Where did that name come from? Jumbo paper clips. Welcome into the live. It's great having you. <laughs> I always like to know where the names came from. It's really interesting. Jumbo paper clips. Welcome in. All right, I'm going to continue to cut this down. And like I said, as I'm doing this, cut the fat off, okay? I hope y'all are having a great Saturday today. Jumbo paper clips is laughing at me. No, I really want to know where'd the name come from. <laughs> hey, we're family now. You're stuck. You better tell me where that name came from. <laughs> Drew Moss said that is interesting. Hello, Mildred. Welcome in. Thanks for coming back in and joining us today. <laughs> Listen, if there's anybody in here, hi, Maria. If there's absolutely anybody in here ever, and you're speaking to me and I miss your message. It's never intentional. There's going to be, naturally, there's going to be so many messages that I miss. And it's just because I'm trying to do this. I'm looking at the computer. I'm looking at the camera. And sometimes it's hard to see every message, okay? So try to understand and don't feel left out if I don't get a chance to speak to you, okay? So welcome to everybody that, even the ones that I don't speak to, okay? Renee, how you doing? Yes, you are back. How you doing? Valencia Pickett, how you doing? And some of you, I may speak to you two times <laughs> because I forgot I spoke to you the first time. All right, so let's get this chicken done. And now, anytime you are dealing with meat, any raw meats, it's very important. When you're done dealing with the meat, the surface that the meat was on, we're going to wash it, okay? And then we're going to wash our hands so that we don't transfer bacteria to the next thing that we touch, okay? So if you have another cutting board, whip that baby out, okay, and throw this one in the sink, okay? Or wash this one off, okay? Because it helps to keep down... You know, just bacteria being transferred, right? No one wants to get salmonella, uh, you know, and get sick, and then you wonder why your stomach's hurting later, you know? 
So it's very important that we be mindful of things like that. Erka Huge, hello and welcome in. Thanks for coming in and joining us today. So this is a family pack of chicken thighs that is boneless and skinless. If you want a cheaper meat, you can buy the chicken thighs that have the skin on and the bone in, and you can just take the bone out yourself just by carving the bone out, ripping the skin off, and your meat will be cheaper. They literally charge you more to um, sell you meat where the skin is off and the bone is gone. So if you're looking for a good deal with your chicken thighs or your chicken breast, get the kind with the skin with the bone and then you just debone and skin it yourself, you'll be paying a great price, right? Absolutely you will. So now, uh, when I make this recipe, I don't want my pieces to be teeny tiny. Like I said, I want them to be bite size, okay? And I'm going to show you once I get all of these done exactly what my bite size looks like. Look at that. that like that's what I'm looking for. Okay, not, not teeny tiny pieces. What Asian di dish specifically? Um, your name is S. Ellie. Welcome. Um, I'm going to be making warsugai. Okay, so it's a battered chicken with a, ch it's a battered fried chicken. It has a chicken gravy that is absolutely amazing. You serve it over rice and then you also serve it with some really interesting ingredients. You serve this with, um, Fresh iceberg lettuce, green onions, and peanuts all over it. It will rock your world. And anybody you make it for, they're going to say, my goodness. Ha! They're going to say, where you get this recipe from? Just be sure to tell them you got this recipe from Gina Young. Okay? So I'm almost done with my chicken. And then, like I said, we're going to wash our hands, wash this cutting board, get started with the batter. Informed Rain, how you doing? Welcome. Nina W, how you doing? Latasha Hunter, hello. It does sound good, right? We love to have Asian food a lot here at the Young's house, especially when I'm making it homemade. My husband told me, I think you got like all kinds of stuff up in you because when you make their food, it's so authentic and it tastes super delicious. <laughs> it tastes super delicious. Oh, you are. Okay, you're salivating already. Okay, you should be. I can't. Here's the thing, T. Smith. I can't wait until you see the finished product. The finished product is a real wow factor, right? You will say, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> That's what Flavor Flav said that he was saying wow to something years ago on that show. And he said, wow, 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 wow. I, th I don't know. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. It was like he couldn't stop saying wow. Someone said, could they skip making the batter and just use flour? Can you skip making the batter? Okay, uh, tell me who it is. Andre Miller. Andre Miller, how you doing? And welcome in. Andre, I'm just going to tell you this, okay? Now. If you skip the batter, I'm not trying to be funny either. If you skip the batter, don't call it Gina Young style. <laughs> don't you call it Gina Young style. I'm going to highly suggest that you make the batter, okay? Because it's going to taste this full potential. It's going to taste the best with this batter. Just putting uh, flour on it, it ain't going to taste as good as it would have been using the batter, okay? So I suggest use the batter. Use the batter even if you gotta make the batter a couple hours ahead of time. Uh, we all know that chicken can be fried and delicious just by using flour, but I'm looking for a battered chicken, not a fried chicken. Yes, this is fried, but it's also battered. So hopefully that answered your question. I suggest you use the batter. All right, we're almost done. Sonia, how you doing? And welcome in. Uh, Ron Wilson says, hello, Dakota. Hey, Ron. 
<laughs> K Coffee, how you doing? Naima, thank you so much, Naima. I appreciate that. It really means a lot to me when you all give a thumbs up because I come on here to show you guys a good time and I feel like the least you can do is give a thumbs up, right? Just let the world know that you're enjoying Gina Young's channel, okay? Terry Cole, can't wait on the gravy. Oh, Terry, listen to me. Terry, welcome. Um, when we make the gravy, it, it's just going to be three ingredients. Three ingredients for the gravy. And you're going to say, I can't, Gina, I can't believe how easy it came together. The gravy comes together so quickly, you're going to be astonished. And the flavor, get out of here. The flavor is the best. Okay, so now it's time for me to wash my hands and my board that the raw meat was on. Uh, what I'd like to do, if you guys can pan down here and just look at this real quick. This is just a clean, wet paper towel. And let me tell you what that does, and it's going to do the same for you. If you have a cutting board that likes to slip and slide all over the place, put a wet, clean paper towel underneath it, and it won't slip and slide, okay? It's a great safety um, practice. <laughs> I think that's what I'm trying to say. You, you know what I'm trying to say. last week was asking me or it may have been the week before was asking me what did I think about Beyonce uh, singing country music and I had told you guys that I hadn't heard it yet well I've heard it a million times over and I've seen the dance <laughs> I've seen it I've heard it I've been doing the dance <laughs> I think it's spectacular and we'll talk about that a little later if Ron Wilson or Sonia or Mildred can write that down for us to talk about it later when I sit down. We'll talk all about it and what I think, okay? So that's, it's pretty interesting. Okay, so what I want to do right now, before we start on our batter, let's go ahead and season the meat. This is just a clean paper towel because I want to set my meat onto on top of here let's go ahead and season this meat and don't you be afraid to season when you season you make things taste good if you are that person that's afraid to season your food will be flavorless that's onion powder and it's a nice amount of it okay so now we're going to put some garlic powder in there and i'm going to put a night let's see do i have any <laughs> oh yeah we got some Garlic powder. All right, great. And I do have a little bit more garlic powder. There we go. And then we're going to put some salt and pepper. <clears throat> and then I'll use some tongs. That way I don't have to wash my hands again, you know. And I want to mix everything together. I'm going to put some black pepper and we'll let it sit while we make our batter, okay? Simple seasonings. Okay. Let me grab the tongs. If there's anybody out there that's wondering what the back of my shirt says, it says Gina Young style if you want to get one. Check out the merch. Check it out. It's flying out the windows. People's buying the merch left and right. 
Okay, so you might be one of those people that wants to get some of the merch, so you know, so you can wear it this spring or summer, winter or fall. All right, look at that. Beautiful. It smells amazing. Okay, so I can just set this aside. I'm going to set it right there, and then I can get rid of this. Okay? Now, I'm going to get started with the batter. Watch how easy this batter is. I'm going to be giving you measurements. Okay, can you send me a sample pack of the merchandise? <laughs> That's what Drew said. <laughs> Hi, Informed Rain. Laura W., hello. All right, all right, here we go. We are going to go in a half a cup of cornstarch. Just a half a cup. Okay. We're going to go in three-fourths of a cup of flour. Scoot the camera back so the lens doesn't get cloudy from the flour, okay? Half a cup of cornstarch, three-fourths of a cup all-purpose flour. They said if they don't have cornstarch, is there a substitute? Um, you need cornstarch for this recipe. Um, you could use a rice, um, you need cornstarch. There is a substitute, and I really need to sit down and wreck my brain to try to figure out what the uh, substitute is. But I can definitely tell you, I may even need to go over to my healthy channel and find out what you can use instead of the cornstarch, okay? It, here's the thing, if you write it down and you remind me, I can find out for you, okay? So now, flour and cornstarch, all-purpose flour, a pinch of salt. And really, it's just a pinch of salt, okay? We're going to put two teaspoons of the baking soda. And I always tell you guys, you see that little lip right there? That right there will help you to measure your baking powder out. I may have said baking soda. I'm sorry, I meant to say baking powder. There's one. And there's two. And I do want just a tiny bit more. Just a teeny bit. Relax. Okay, and then we're going to put two tablespoons of um, vegetable oil. This is the batter. I used the same batter to fry. Last week, I fried fish and I made a battered fish and the world went crazy over it. Everybody loves this fish. My husband tasted the fish and he said, this is amazing. And I tasted the fish and I thought, this is amazing. So even if you want to use this batter for fish, use it for fish, use it for chicken. It's delicious, okay? So that was two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Use any kind of oil you want to use, okay? A half a cup of cold water plus two tablespoons of cold water. And then we're going to put one egg in and mix it. There we go. All right, so now let me get my egg out. Where did I put the egg? I had one egg. <laughs> There's the egg. I'm gonna try to crack it with no shells, cause I, I usually crack it into a separate bowl to make sure I have no shells, but we're in luck today. Let's go ahead and mix this just like so in this manner. Our chicken is marinating with the beautiful spices, okay? And just so quick, we have our chicken cut, our chicken is seasoned, and we have an amazing batter that will rock your world. Okay, so let's mix it together. Okay, be careful. It's, you know, when you're dealing with cornstarch, sometimes it's kind of hectic to get it to stir together in the beginning. But just keep, you know, just keep working with it. It'll loosen up. Chloe, hello and welcome in. Thank you, Sonia. 
Don't you do it, my holy king. Y'all so funny. Take your time. Make sure everything is what... Yo, my hat is tight. I need to loosen up this hat for y'all don't have no Gina Young no more. Wee! Let me loosen this hat. I'll wash my hands after I loosen my hat. But that hat, oh my goodness, that thing was too tight. See, did you notice how after touching my hat, I told you guys that I'm going to wash my hands because it's very important. If you're a cook, it's very important that you can't be in the kitchen just playing with your clothes and whatever else you're doing, scratching and all kinds of stuff because you'll make people sick. So even by touching my hat like I did, I had to go wash my hands so I can keep my loved ones safe, right? So now take a look at the batter. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Look at that. There's no lumps and it didn't stay thick like it was, okay? So I, I hey, listen. This batter right here is so amazing. Next thing we're gonna do. Eloise, hello. <clears throat> Let's take our chicken, put it into the batter and kind of move it around. Okay, so I'm gonna take my rings off. <clears throat> I have this to catch any of the batter. I washed my hair today. <laughs> I washed my hair today and um, deep conditioned it and put uh, a leave-in conditioner in it and then I diffused it. When I diffuse my hair, it has a lot of volume. So thank you so much. All right, so we're getting the chicken in. You can do a little bit at a time or you can put it all in right now if you want. It's really up to you. I'm a I'm just throwing it all in right now, okay? And then the key is to get every single piece of your chicken nice and coated in this batter, okay? Sometimes it takes a while. Don't get frustrated with it. It'll get nice and coated, okay? If there's some pieces of the chicken just don't look like it's getting coated, don't worry about it, okay? For the most part, get as much of the chicken coated as you can. And then I'm gonna show you how much oil I'm gonna be using to, after we do this, I'm gonna show you how much oil we're using to fry this chicken. When I fry this chicken, I typically like to use um, between medium and medium high. I don't wanna have the oil up on super high because it'll burn or it'll look like it's done on the outside and the inside will be super raw. That's if you yank it up on high, right? So I always like to do medium, medium, high is gonna, is gonna do what you need, right? It's gonna be that perfect color. Outside's gonna be crispy, inside's gonna be fully done, okay? There we go. Oh, yes, I'm all excited. I am going to buy you a fryer, says Na Okay, hold Naima says, I'm going to buy you a fryer. You're going to buy me a fryer? You'll have to buy me a fryer because I like to work with the pan. I, I like to, but thank you. I appreciate that. I like to put my oil in the pan versus the fryer. I've had fryers, but I prefer, you know, cooking my stuff in a pan. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Okay, so take a look. All of that work and all of our chicken is nice and submerged in the beautiful batter, okay? But let's just set it over here for now, okay? I want to wash this just to make sure one more time, make sure I didn't get no chicken bacteria on there. Work. And I'll show you guys the oil.
with the sanitizing. You have to be. When you're dealing with raw meat, you have to be crazy with sanitizing. Okay, so what I want to do right now, show you how much oil we're going to use, okay? Look, it took it. So if you look at this pan here, it sits about this deep. And I put about half. What I'd like to do, when I always talk about frying, um, I like to have enough room in my pan to where the meat has enough room to rise. If you put a shallow amount of oil, your meat doesn't have room to rise, and guess what it will always do? It'll burn at the bottom. But when you put enough oil in your pan to give it room to rise in the pan, it can't be sitting on the bottom burning. So that's my reason, because someone had asked me years ago, why, why do you use a lot of oil? Um, well, that's the reason. Um, but then also, um, I don't throw the oil away. We can reuse oil. You can sift it, you know, and reuse oil when you fry chicken the next time, okay? So I just want to throw that out there. This is how much oil, and I'm using vegetable oil. So let's go ahead and heat up our oil and I have some beautiful lettuce, okay, I'm going to rinse my lettuce off. And then also I have some green onions that I'm going to rinse off and we're going to chop them up and put them onto a plate. Oh, you're welcome, Terry. Hey, listen, it's okay. I love a good question and I love answering questions and teaching you guys different things. I'm so serious. So when you think about um, like a fryer, let's just talk about the fryer. The fryers, I've never seen a fryer big as a frying pan. I'm sure you can find them, right? But I'm sure they're pretty pricey, right? I'm sure they're pretty pricey. Um, so when I think of a fryer years ago, I used to have um, a fryer and it was kind of rectangle. It was maybe about this deep and it was about that big. It's just not, it doesn't hold enough, enough oil. It doesn't hold enough of what I'm trying to cook either. So I don't mind using a pan. All right, I'm gonna wash this off, not with warm or hot water. It's gonna be cold water, okay? wash off right and um, it's up to you guys if you like to use the white part you can um, or if you just want to use green you can the green has an amazing flavor that I love right nice Okay, let's do let's do it. This is for garnish, but it's also for flavor for the recipe. You need green onions for this recipe. You, when you taste this recipe, it's like you need the green onions to combine with the fresh lettuce and the chicken gravy and the peanut. This recipe will rock your everlasting mind. <laughs> I know, that's how excited I am about it. All right, there we go. This is the recipe that I made for the Super Bowl. I told you guys I was making something else. My family said, we want this. And so I made it, and I made the brownies, and everybody was super excited, you know. You love green onions. Oh, Drew Moss, you're going to love this. 
Because if I made your plate right now, Drew, I would throw a ton of green onions on there since you told me. So now let me grab my lettuce out that I'm going to be using. I, I always like to take the first layer off. Yeah, I don't want it. I don't want that first layer. It don't look good to me. <laughs> I'm going to give it a nice rinse. Let's see. Oh, green onions make you have a smart mind, okay. Well, that's great to hear. Okay, my oil is heating up. Once that oil is nice and hot, once that oil is nice and hot, we're throwing chicken in. We're going to be making chicken gravy and rice at the same time, okay? Onion salad is one of my favorites. Only problem, your wife makes you sleep on the other in the other room. Isn't that something? Well, that's funny. <laughs> it's funny, but it ain't funny for you, right? <laughs> Heck no, it ain't funny for you. <laughs> so I like to get the beautiful crunchy pieces, okay? And I'm just gonna set it on the plat on the platter. That way when I make me and my family's um, you know, our plate. Everybody gets fresh lettuce. You must have fresh lettuce and green onions and peanuts for this recipe. <laughs> I don't know who you said listen to Booker T and GM's green onions or something. Sonia, you discard that first layer. You have to, right? It's like not good. And you know what was funny? When I picked up that first lettuce layer, uh, Sonia, it was real gritty, like it was sandy. So this will get put into a Ziploc bag and voila. My oil's almost nice and um, hot. Exactly what I'm looking for. We'll use this later. Okay, next ingredient, peanuts. Salted peanuts. If you want um, like regular peanuts, sure. Right, use regular peanuts if that's what you love. You know, you can. Um, I don't have my rolling pin. You all know the funny story about the rolling pin. But I do have this drink shaker. I want to use it to crack up some of my peanuts, okay? I'm just going to break them down in such a manner. But listen, don't, here, scoot the camera back. I don't want them to get dizzy. Uh, please. Um, I don't want to break these peanuts down so much to where I make peanut butter in the bag. And I don't want to turn the peanuts into dust. So just knock them a, a few times. You don't have to get wild with it. Just try to break them down a little bit, okay? And these peanuts are not the kind with that red skin on them. Okay, Do, don't get that kind because nobody wants to eat that red skin. Not in this recipe, okay? So we'll just knock them just a little bit. I'm almost done. If it's bothering you, cover your ears just for a few minutes, okay? All right. That's done. There we go. So I got crushed up peanuts. I got my lettuce and green onions. This is going in the refrigerator, okay? I'm going to cover it up. Chicken is in the batter. We have oil heating up here, okay? Uh, okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of... Uh, plastic wrap just to cover things up. 
Neurally, how are you? Welcome in. Thanks for coming in and joining today. So now, is that my computer that's really close up, or is that the camera? Computer. Okay. Terry Cole is cracking up. Terry, are you enjoying the live today? I hope you are. There's a delay in your keyboard. Are you kidding me? Well, I think you need to get that keyboard in check so you can message us. <laughs> Come on, keyboard. All right, so just a light cover with my plastic wrap. And into the refrigerator, you can leave the peanuts out here on the camp counter. With your oxtails, you made rice, beans, and cornbread. Oh my goodness. Did the oxtails fall off the bone? That's what I want to know. And can you send me a picture? <laughs> That's my second question. Send me a picture. And did they fall off the bone? Chris Avis, hello, welcome. Into Z for the refrigerator. All right. Now, we're going to be making gravy. Okay? For the person that wanted to know how to make the gravy, Liz, welcome in. Thank you for coming in. You wanted to know how to make the gravy? Here we go. Super simple, delicious Jimmy Young style, okay? Now, I said three ingredients, it's really like four, okay? Have you ever been out to an Asian restaurant? They serve you a beautiful yellow gravy. It's so bright yellow, it's like the sun. And it's spectacular, like you could just like keep licking it this way, it's so good. That's what we're making today. I, I have the key, I got the key to it. You're welcome, Liz. Thank you for coming in. Miss B, hello and thank you. So now, what we're going to do, my chicken is nice and hot and it's ready to accept that chicken. But since I got two things going on, you can see that I moved the oil off of the burner until I'm ready to get to it because I don't want my oil to be too hot. Then I put my chicken in and it burns. It's a such thing as you heated your oil up too hot, then you put your meat in and it burnt, right? So that's why you may have seen me. I don't know if you just see me do it. I took the oil off of the burner and we're good. We're good for now, okay? All right, 32 ounces of chicken broth. 32 ounces, which is this full container, okay? Seth, welcome in. That sounds good, Gina. That yellow gravy. Oh, Sonia, you just watch. We got to make it yellow. Of course, we use ch uh, uh, chicken broth. But if we want to make it yellow, you need yellow food coloring. If you have a dye allergy, then you can't make this recipe. I just want to say it again. If you have a dye allergy, then you can make this recipe, okay? And you have to know that, okay? So now, when I go in with my yellow food, and, and, and during this video, my fingernail might be that yellow color throughout this whole video, because it takes a while for dye to get off of your skin. Yellow food coloring, come in close with the camera if you would, please. And we're gonna put the dye in. It looks red, I know, it looks red, but it's not, okay? That's how yellow dye looks. <clears throat> then, we're gonna put some chicken bouillon powder and I'm gonna put two teaspoons. You can put less, but two teaspoons really does a, a number on me. It makes, me. it makes it delicious. And give that a nice stir around, okay? Now, if it clumps up like it does, don't worry, because you know once this heats up, ah, 
that the, that clumping will kind of dissolve. Okay, if at any time you want to put a little bit of garlic powder, black pepper in here, whatever you want to do, have fun with it, okay? But chicken bouillon, it, it does the trick, just trust me, okay? So now, what do we have to do? We have to take this and heat it up. Once it heats up, where's my, hold on. I'm going to need my whisk. I'm going to need my whisk because we're going to have to whisk our gravy together. So we put food coloring in 32 ounces of chicken broth, chicken bouillon powder, and we heat this up. After it's nice and heated up and it comes to a slow boil, we are then going to thicken it up with what we call a cornstarch slurry. Okay? And how you make a cornstarch slurry is by simply using cornstarch, a little bit of water, and it will thicken it up, and voila, okay? So, I usually use about two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm not going to use a measuring spoon. I'm going to use two table house spoons, okay? And, and, and listen, at any time, if you ever, um, like, make a cornstarch slurry and it doesn't thicken your liquid up, just use a little bit more. It'll always work for you, okay? It'll, it will never fail on you, okay? And you see, I'm not measuring it. I'm just throwing it in, okay? And I'll show you how much um, of the liquid we'll put in here. Let me get a little bit of water. Okay, so if you come in close, I'll show you how much we mix together. When you're mixing any liquid with cornstarch, it may feel hard to mix together in the beginning, but eventually it'll come together. Just use a little bit of elbow grease. There we go. This is a cornstarch slurry. It will thicken up any type gravy. Doesn't have to be this type of gravy. Any gravy, it will thicken. Or any sauce you want to thicken up, use this. Okay, so we'll set that aside because our broth hasn't came to a nice boil yet, right? Okay. Okay. So now what's going to happen... We're getting ready to start cooking our chicken. Getting ready to start making our chicken. Are you excited? So now, I have to put a little bit of flour into my oil and make sure my oil is still hot since we took it off the burner, right? It's like a whole science. I got to make sure the oil is nice and hot. So let me grab some flour. If the flour sizzles in the oil, my oil is nice and hot. But if this flour goes down to the bottom like this, you got to reheat the oil, okay? But it won't be for long because, here, come take a look. I, I, have, I just have to show you guys what, what I mean. So what we're looking for, when you take your flour into the oil, it should sizzle right away. Tss, like that. If it does, you can put the meat in. If you put the flour in and you watch it go down to the bottom and it starts sizzling at the bottom, that means your oil ain't hot enough. It will not turn out right. So if the camera can come, come on, come on with me. All right, I'm gonna show you. All right, look at this, guys. There's that sizzle, look at that. Perfect sizzle. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin to put in some of the chicken. And we can do this together, okay? Take your chicken. You may have to, you know, do like that. Into the oil and that sizzle, you gotta see it. When you see that sizzle, you say, ooh, I am on the right track, Gina. 
Okay, you can do this with your fingers, okay, or you can use a fork like I am. Sometimes you have to shake it off the fork. But what I don't want you to do, listen to me closely, everybody. I don't want you to put your meat on top of each other because everything will stick together. You'll have one big fried clump. Okay, we got enough time to be on this live. We may have to do two batches of the chicken and I'm okay with that, right? So that's all we got going on for now. Let me fill this pan up. And then when I come back over this way towards you guys, I'm going to show you how the gravy comes together so quickly. Is that camera nice and steady? Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, when you, when you see the batter on the chicken, you're going to say, my goodness. <laughs> You're going to say my goodness. I think my husband's all excited. I think my husband's all excited for this recipe. I sure am. There he is. He said, I sure am. I know he is. I know he is. All right, I'm almost done, guys. I tell you what, this may be one of the funnest recipes that you all learn from me. Not saying that the other recipes aren't fun. This is super fun. You feel like a superstar when you make this because it is so authentic. It tastes so authentic, so good. Denise, hello, Charlene Bell, welcome. Giselle, hello. Giselle, is it Giselle? Like I said, we're going to have to make a couple different batches, okay? So just have patience today. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder in my chicken broth, just because I have it sitting here. A little bit of onion powder. You don't have to. But I just want to put it in there because I like to be a little extra with this recipe. So now, your meat, if your oil is right, and it should be right, your meat will begin to float up like we want it to. Never, ever. I know I already talked about it, but you don't want your water or your meat to just be sitting at the bottom, okay? <clears throat> you know, listen, you know you got a good batter. When you put that first piece in, it starts sizzling and the batter doesn't slide off the meat, right? Years ago, I tried to make a batter. I put the meat in the oil, and the batter slid off. And I was upset. <coughs> come, come over here so they can take a look at this real quick, please, and thank you. So, you guys are going to come in. Come on in and we can see something. Look, it took it. Oh, it's all happening right in front of you. It's floating. You can see some pieces that are nice and golden brown. And if you look over here, you're going to see that I always have a cookie sheet with a cooling rack on top. That way, when the pieces are done, pieces that are done goes on top of that cooling rack. Okay? So... That's what that does. In the meantime, I'm going to get my whisk and we're going to make our gravy. Myra, how you doing? Look, it took it, Valencia. Absolutely. Yeet. When I say that, I'm all excited. I know people say, what she say? I I'm just excited when I say that. <laughs> All right, 
all right. So, my broth is not warmed up enough, but, but we're almost there, okay? We're almost there. Hey, what you'll notice is when I do this, I, you might not have noticed that when I'm cooking, I'm cleaning up as I'm going. If I used um, ingredients or whatever it may be, bowls and stuff like that, I'm getting rid of them, putting them in the sink. Trying to keep everything nice and clean and sanitized along the way after I'm done with the spoon that I know I'm not going to use anymore. Look, I just set them in there. So try your best to clean up as you go and you will not be stressed out in that kitchen. Like, it's turn the fan on. I'm so hot. Please turn the fan on before I melt in here. know how to make a nice box of rice a -roni, right? So I'm not really going to go over how I make the rice a -roni. I'm just going to make it. Y'all see me on here a ton of times making the chicken flavored rice a -roni, which is one of my favorites. You just read the back of the box and make it. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, my broth, broth is almost heated up. We got great flavor in our broth, right? And we have our cornstarch slurry that will be going in. I just wanna reiterate and talk about this real quick. It, let's just say there's some people out there that really ain't fond of yellow gravy. You, you might be that person. I've heard of some people say, oh, Gina, make the gravy nice and dark. If you're that person, you can always use this. Kitchen bouquet will make any gravy nice and dark. Okay, so if you like a brown gravy, put this in, your gravy is brown. Okay, and just leave out the um, yellow food coloring, okay, I, I understand. Or you could use a beef broth, and a beef broth, with a little bit of this, it'll be nice and brown, okay? So, I just want to throw that out there. nice and hot we've seasoned it well let's go ahead and thicken it up okay and you're gonna really be able to see how yellow it is you might not be able to see right now but I can tell by the smoke that it's nice and hot and ready to accept the corn um, starch slurry let's get that in there okay as you put it in you stir so you don't have any issues with lumping back a little bit. Gina, it's really bright. I know, but that color will calm down a little bit as this thickens up. So in a few minutes, we'll come back as I'm still stirring, and I'm going to show you the thickness, and guess what we'll do? We'll taste it together. I'm going to give you a taste. When you're making a gravy, you keep stirring. Even if you're making a gravy that, call, um, that you have to use a roux for, you know, the flour, 
and the oil or flour and butter, you keep stirring. When you keep stirring, you have no lumps. Okay? It'll always turn out right when you keep stirring. My dad taught me how to make a gravy when I was little tiny. He did. He, he, he um, gave me the option. He would say, which one you want to do? You want to stir it or you want to pour the liquid? What do you want to do? And I always had the option to do one or two parts of the gravy. And so I learned how to make a gravy at a really young age. I, I did. It was super fun. It hasn't began to thicken up yet, but it will very soon. And if it don't, I'm putting more cornstarch in. Thank you, Miss B. Thomas Smith. I'm going to have to rewind after this and see what I missed. Oh, okay, yeah. That's what's good about being able to do these lives and these videos. You guys can watch it later. You can share the recipe with your family and friends by just pressing the, uh, what is it called, share? If you press share, you can send it to whoever you want to. They can watch it, and then they can make it, and then they'll be calling you, Sam. Thank you. I just made Jeannie Young's recipe, and it was delicious. Right? So that's how it goes. Share, share the videos and the lives with your loved ones. They'll thank you. So we'll take a look in at our beautiful chicken here in a couple minutes. I'm stirring the chicken around. Even though we got a lot of oil in there, sometimes you need to stir a couple pieces around. Okay, because some of your pieces might not flip on their own. They'll just stay stuck this way, right? So if you get that situation, some of them will cook all around the whole circumference of the meat. But some of them, if they didn't, just flip them, okay? And then some of them, you flip it and it flips right back over. If you have that situation, flip that baby and then set the, <laughs> and then set your spatula on top of it <laughs> to keep it. Oh, Mildred, oh no, she didn't say that. <laughs> I seen your message about Jill Scott Mildred. I seen you. <laughs> well, I tell you what, that would be nice. That would be nice. We'll just have to get a hold of her. <laughs> no, I don't want to say that because one of you guys will tag her in one of my videos. Next thing you know, Jill Scott will be getting a hold of me. <laughs> I know what you guys will do. All right, so I, I feel like it's not thick enough, okay? So you see I put a little bit of cornstarch, a little bit, a little bit of water. I'm going to add it to my gravy, okay? And that's what I want you all to do. Don't get worried or anything if it doesn't thicken up. Like I said, if it doesn't, put more cornstarch. It's simple. All right. You have to get her here. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? But that would be nice. It, it would be nice. And as soon as she came on here, what would you guys say? <laughs> what would you say? Grits? Can I say grits? Let me see. Are you saying say grits? Do I say it right? Do y'all remember uh, Mel's Diner where the lady would say kiss my grits? Am I saying it right? Is that what you're looking for? Like I don't know what you're, what you're saying. You ain't saying it right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I know how she said it when she said, kiss my grits. I do. <laughs> I think that's what you're looking for. <laughs> I know what you're looking for. <laughs> I remember that, Denise says. The grapes. 
gravy is just about done. I'm going to be able to show you all by a, a spoon how thick it's gotten. And always remember, when you make a gravy like this, um, it will thicken up after you, uh, thicken up a little more after you turn it off, okay? Yes, absolutely. Now you're talking about float on Alice. I am, I am. I love the Ron. Ron, I think everybody loved her. She was the best, right? Okay, if the camera can come in, are you with me? So come in over here so the people can see what we got going on. First, we got a gravy that's nice and thick. Oh, my goodness, Gina. Gina, Gina. Let me get another spoon that has cornstarch on it. Hold on, let's see. And then we'll take a peek in at the chicken. Don't get too close to um, the pans. Look at this, guys. See that? Look at this. Look at this, everybody. Zoom in. There it is. That's the gravy that you all know from the Asian restaurants. It was a mystery to you until now. Okay, it will thicken up as it cools down. Nice, beautiful. I, I got to taste it. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Uh-huh. I'm loving the flavor. The flavor is everything. You want to make somebody happy? Make that gravy. Okay, so you can see our chicken is golden brown like it's been. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. on a trip to Miami Beach. Look at that. Wee. Okay, so I'm going to give this about two more minutes. We're going to take that batch out. Why am I so close? We're going to take that batch out. Okay, we're going to put another batch in. And uh, we're making the rice. Everything comes together so quickly. Like I said, if you wasn't here when I said this in the beginning, if this wasn't a video or a live, uh, it, 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 it cooks so much more quicker. Rather than me sitting here talking, I'm, you know, looking at messages and things like that and trying to teach. But when you're at home cooking this by yourself, you're not recording it. Dinner's on the table. Okay. Lisa. Uh, okay. Thank you. That's great. Welcome. Was curious what they were referring to grits. And if it's what I think, does it have to do with grits? They're talking about the, um, the show. Uh, Ron, Ron, can you tell him what we're talking about when we say grits? It's nothing bad. If you're thinking it is, it's not. It comes from a, a sitcom that used to play. Um, so I don't know what you're thinking. But it's actually a good show that we all used to watch. It really does. The show was absolutely amazing. <clears throat> I'm making my rice, but like I said, I don't need to show you guys how to make the rice, right? So. I'm taking the chicken out because it's done. And I'm going to put it right here so it can, um, what was that, Dakota? I'm putting it right here so it can drain. You, if you don't have a cookie sheet and a coaling rack, then just set it on a paper towel so you can drain the oil, okay? Draining the oil is going to be best. You don't want your family to digest extra oil for no reason, okay? I'm going to bring this close to the camera so you guys can see. What is it? Just got sent $10. Thank you. Let me see who sent it. Thank you for the super chat. I definitely appreciate it. <clears throat> I'll look at your name here in just a second. I can't see your name right now until I click on it. 
Lisa Sister Sister. Lisa Sister Sister! Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And take a look. Gina, are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. That's what yours is going to look like. Remember, um, the person in the comment section wanted to know, can I just use flour? If you use the batter, you're going to get this. Let me see. If I can pick one up just to show you. I know it's super hot. Let's see. I got to show you that crunch. Authentic. Oh my goodness, Gina. Right? That's what I want yours to be like, okay? Hands down, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I want some of that chicken. Okay, Valencia. I'm making you some right now. So I'm right now I'm putting uh, more chicken in so we can get our second batch done. We got rice cooking and the gravy is done. So after I get this chicken into the pot, I'm going to bring over the gravy on the spoon. It would have thickened up a little bit more since the last time I showed you, and we'll taste it together, okay? I really want you to see the consistency of this gravy. Because you really, the camera really didn't show you any justice while it was in the pan, but I'm going to be able to show you, okay? Give me a second, guys. Sonia, don't let me burn my rice. Remember that time I burnt the rice? And I played it off so smooth, didn't I? I had another box of rice in the cabinet, and we just kept on going, didn't we? I think Sonia was in tears that day. Thank you, Ron. Absolutely. Okay, so what's great about this? Um, I know I'm not able to read everybody's message right now, right? We understand that. But after we're done cooking, I'm going to be able to read everybody's message. And we're going to get to talk, okay? So we'll get to talk. Don't feel left out if I'm missing your messages right now. Just try to understand. What's your favorite recipe? This might be oh, my that, favorite recipe. Let's say another time. Let's see. Let me see. They blocked you for 15 minutes. Oh, what did he say? Is he talking about what happened? She sent you another 10. You did. Saying, Gina, you are the best. I love when you come live. Mm, good. Thank you so much. I appreciate the super chats. This is awesome. Thank you. That, that will help me to do more lives like this and more videos that you enjoy. So thank you, Lisa. That's really nice of you. I'm just stirring my rice around that I'm going to be putting water in and the chicken powder in here in a second. Oh, almost with you guys. Hold on. I want to get the pan filled up with my chicken. The second batch always cooks up a little bit faster. I, I feel like it does. Looks like I might have to do three batches. We'll just see. Or maybe two. I don't know. I just really don't want to overcrowd the pan, right? If you overcrowd the pan, your meat will steam. It'll never get crispy. It'll just go wrong. So try your best not to overcrowd the pan. Just making sure every once in a while that the chicken pieces aren't sticking together. You, you should only have that problem if you overcrowded the pan. I may have three batches to do. Woo! Maybe not. I think I'm going to have three. 
three batches to do. Okay, I'm going to set this chicken over here. Okay, I need, I'm going to fill my water up real quick. use cold water because using hot water it'll turn into mush okay so I just want to tell you guys that to help you out a little bit I use this and then I always put a little bit of extra chicken bouillon powder in okay give it just a little bit more flavor that I'm looking for going to taste the gravy. We're going to taste it now. <clears throat> All right, come in close. I really need you guys to see this. <gasps> Gina, it looks just like the Asian restaurant that I go to. Ah, is that a good look? Is it nice and close? Okay, so I'm going to taste it. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. That right there? Oh, my goodness. Yes. I know. It's that good. Woo, it's good. I feel like I can put a little bit more chicken in. And so I'm going to go ahead and do it. This, when you buy the family pack of the chicken, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, you get a whole lot of meat. And I tell you what, it's just three of us right here that's eating today. This will be gone tonight. I know this will be gone tonight. That's what's really exciting. Uh-oh, let me turn this down on low, my rice. I want to cover it with foil and cook it for 20 minutes. So we're going to cover it. Turn on a 25-minute timer. How much is that? There's 25. Put this on. And that's it for our rice. We got our last batch of chicken going. Everything's nice and cleaned up. So what I'm going to do, since I ain't got nothing to do right now, um, but just wait on the chicken and the rice, I'm going to come around in front of the camera. We can sit and chit-chat and talk for a minute, 
But you guys have to remind me. I know we're going to have a lot of fun. You have to remind me to get up and check the chicken. And, and my rice, the timer will go off on my rice, okay? The cook. Okay. Um, can you, when I sit down, can you give me a pop? Please. Huh? Yeah. When I come around, okay? Okay, the rice is on for 25 minutes. Chicken is going. We're all, everything's good. <laughs> all right, here I am. Let me get rid of the light. Whee! Oh, yes. Denise says, I love Andy Griffin. I used to love the Andy Griffin sh show. What an amazing show. Give me that thing so I can wipe my face. Um, Saj, I actually seen that. Um, I seen like the previews or something, but I haven't watched it. But I, I would love for you, if you've watched it, let us know, is, is it good? Oh, cornstarch really makes it look good. Oh, yeah. Who's saying that? Naima? Mm-hmm. Even when you're frying chicken and you put a little bit of cornstarch in it, cornstarch does something super special to it. I'm just wiping up a little oil on my face because uh, when I do these videos, my face gets super oily. It does. Just from the heat of these uh, industrial lights and the heat of the cooking, you, you, you know. Veronica, hello. Oh, Lisa, thank you. I truly appreciate it. Lisa, where, uh, where, do, you, where do you stay? Oh, you haven't seen it yet. Okay, Drew, I watch Co Co Coco Melon so much from my grandson, I get to know all the baby songs. <laughs> Sharon and Karen, okay, that's great. Informed Rain. I'm not watching it, unfortunately. I now chose not to watch Listen to Fear. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, I understand. Sterling Heights, Michigan. Okay. Oh, that makes you want to see it? Uh, it's interesting, right? Oh, Elizabeth, not oily. That's one thing I can't stand. Here's the thing. So we use the industrial lights. You may have seen that green light that I just moved. But when, when we're recording videos and it's lights, camera, action, that light puts off a lot of heat. And then you got two lights above us in the kitchen. And then you got the heat going. So I, t and then I already have a face that is oily. <laughs> so so I, I, I like to keep, you know, a couple things. It doesn't have powder or anything on it. I like to keep some things nearby, you know, while I'm recording and going live so I can blot my face just to get rid of some of the oil. And it really does help. Because the camera will make it look more oily. <laughs> oh, you're on your way. Look at you, Latika. Latika, if you come, I got a huge plate for you. <laughs> Y'all, so listen, let me tell you this. i never seen this movie. I watched it for the first time, and I watched it by myself. Let me tell you what I watched. I watched the bird box. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Is that what it's called? It was nuts. I was on the edge of my seat. Oh, you said, Gina, two pieces of chicken for $8. Oh, you're already sitting at the table. Okay, Ron, we have to get Ron first. <laughs> Listen, I watched the bird box and I thought it was nuts. You said it was horrible. Do you mean it was horrible like a, a scary movie? Or do you mean horrible like not a good movie? 
Oh, Adia. How do I say your name? Adija or Adia? I couldn't believe it. It was nuts. That movie had me on the edge of my seat and I was like, okay, this is crazy. And then about the little baby girl. Oh my goodness. It was just nuts. The whole movie. I got, here's the thing. I got, I got to get my husband to watch the movie. I knew he was busy, so I just turned the movie on myself, right? I got to get my husband to watch it because I know it's a longer movie than, watch, than a regular movie. Did you watch the new Bird Box or the old one? Oh, hold on. Our son just said that I watched the new Bird Box or the old one. I see both. I didn't know it was a new one. I must have watched the old one. One just came out like a year ago. I don't know. I watched one where the girl, where the lady had the baby, and then the other lady that's had the, the baby. That's the new one. That's the new oh, one. I watched the new yeah, one? Yeah, just watched the new one. Oh, so, okay, he's saying I watched the new one. I didn't even know it was an old one. So I'm lost right now. I'm lost. Okay, so I guess I have to watch the other one. What is he talking about right now? I didn't know that I watched the new one. I didn't know there was an old one. I watched it off of Netflix. Netflix, oh my goodness. The movie? I watched the birds too when I was younger. How many boxes are there? There's one. <laughs> one bird box. Okay. Sandra Bullock was in this one that I see. So maybe I watched the old one. I don't know, but it was good. Y'all, it was good. And them little kids on there, they did some acting. But I think by what the kids had to do, just being their age and how little they was, they did absolutely amazing. By having to keep them blindfolds on, I thought, oh, look it, took it. <laughs> Y'all should have heard me last night. Gina, can you do another dance? <laughs> another dance video? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's the old one. Okay. Uh-uh. The chicken's okay. I'm looking at the chicken. But thank you. Bernadette, thank you. Don't you let me burn that chicken. Thank you. The birds was crazy. So Drew says the blind side was the movie, but that was a lie. Was it? I didn't know that was a lie. Okay, Sandra Bullock in the movie Unforgivable is amazing. <gasps> okay, tell me again right before I get off because I have to write it down. Hold on, Dakota, get me, get me, get me a pen and a piece of paper, and I'm going to write it down. Drew, tell me again. Hold on. I mean, uh, Saj, tell me again. <laughs> For some reason, I always get Saj and Drew. Okay. Okay, hold on. Saj, I'm forget. Tell me again. Is that right, Drew? The, the first one is just called... Uh, the first one's just called Bird Box. The second one's called Bird Box Barcelona. Oh, I didn't. Okay, so he he said the the second one is called Bird Box Barcelona. I I didn't see that one. See I that just one? seen Bird Box. Oh, okay. Hold on, Saj, Tell me again. Shell Cook, hello. Okay, Saj, Tell me again. Did you say unforgettable? Please tell me again. Saj, tell me again. Oh, it was Drew. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Don't you? I get you. For some reason, I get the two mixed up. When I'm reading a ton of messages, those two names just like is like the same name for some reason. I don't know what happens. Somebody tell me what you just said. Okay, hold on. They say movies are true stories, and they wind up, oh, 
Oh my goodness. Okay, need us. Okay, okay, I got you, Gina. I'm forgetting. Yeah, it was you. It was you, you little stinker. Okay, hold on. Unforgivable. And who's in it? Hey, Shell Cook, how are you? Thanks for coming in and joining. The movie is Unforgivable. I can't even read it in this purple. Okay, Unforgivable. Let me write that again. Sandra Bullock, okay? <laughs> Guess what else I watched? Hold on, I do, uh, I know my rice is okay because I got timer on it, but uh, I let me check on my chicken for real. Million Dollar Baby is good? Let me write it down. Hold on. See, my husband, let me tell you this. I can tell him that there is a good movie and we can start watching it. If anything is fake, he will... He will not be interested in the rest of the movie. He don't want no goblins and, and no, nothing that's fake. Nothing that can't really happen. He's like, I'm done with the movie. <laughs> so this has to be, it has to be a good movie, like for real. Okay, so I'm going to tell you um, the two movies that I watched. Ho hold on. I watched I Care A Lot, and it was absolutely amazing, but the end had a crazy ending. You know, I understand some movies is going to have a crazy ending, but I Care A Lot was nuts. So please watch it. I Care A Lot. It's on Netflix. Let me check my chicken. Stay right there. We're going to give the chicken, we're going to get the chicken about two minutes, okay? Turn the oil off. Whenever you cook um, something in hot oil, always remember, I don't care what you're doing, always remember to push that oil, excuse me, to the back of your oven so nobody can accidentally, excuse me, knock it over, okay? All right, so I can listen. If you, if you guys, while we're doing this, if you want to, look at I Care A Lot. You, you, what's the pre, the preview of it? If you look at the trailer of it, you're going to say, oh my goodness, I have to see it. And when you see it, you're going to say, this is nuts. It's nuts. I was screaming at the TV. I'm screaming at the TV because the movie's so good. Did I sneak a bite? No, I didn't sneak a bite, but I wanted to. I didn't sneak a bite. Oh, God's Gemini. Okay, you said I saw it. Did you love it? Okay, Saj, the actress who played her on the Academy Award. Gina, isn't that the love comedy movie? 
I care a lot. No, it's 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 like um, suspense. It's a suspense movie. Okay, so what I got so far is I got the Million Dollar Baby. Is it really good, My Holy King? I got Unforgivable with Sandra Bullock. I can't read this because it's on purple. Isn't that weird? Like you can't, you can't see, you can't see it on this purple. That, that's what I like. Okay, suspense. A suspense movie. Like I said, as I get older, as I get older, I don't like them scary movies. Suspense is everything and some. I like to be on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Just like, uh, you know, like wanting to know what's getting ready to happen next. Okay, Denise Billups says me too. Okay, um... Someone please tell me a good scary movie to watch because I never found, you never, okay, Gina is, let me see, I, I missed your message, Lisa. Hold on, guys. Uh, oh, Raymond, okay, Raymond likes drama and mystery. Oh, look at you, Ron. Ron, okay, Ron says The Shack, y'all. Gotta watch The Shack. Hey, listen, I told y'all, I let, let me check my chicken. Uh-uh. I ain't burning my chicken for y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm taking the chicken out. like that yin yang where you got cold you got hot you got crispy you got salty you have everything your taste buds could ever want okay so keep the lettuce and green onions nice and cold until you're ready i'm gonna bring the chicken over and you can see it but we got 10 minutes on our rice oh lord i thank you for the energy today i thank you dear god thank you for your strength Wee. I'm serious when I say that. All right, I'm coming around. Look. Add it. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Wee, Gina, that's a lot of chicken. It's a lot of delicious. Y'all, the meat, the meat, the meat will be juicy. It will be flavorful, and the batter is crispy. Even if you go to eat it later on tonight and you got to heat it up in the microwave, the batter remains nice and crispy. Right? Yes, it does. Okay, so let's just. Set this right here, okay? We got the gravy. Come take a look at our gravy. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh girl. Okay, I think what I'll do, I'm gonna wash my, um, I wanna wash my, what's it called? Measuring cup? Measuring cup out, and I'm going to put some gravy in the measuring cup. Got everybody's plate out. Right now, 
now cannot believe the amount of paper towels we go through. We go through so many paper towels, it's unbelievable. All right, so watch how gorgeous. Oh, man, are you kidding me? Oh, I, y'all, I have to. Ah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know you lying. Woo, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Okay, five minutes. I pushed the oil back. Five minutes on our rice. We're going to be making plates. I'm going to say an amazing prayer. And uh, you guys are going to get to eat with me. You're going to finish telling me some great movies. And we're going to have a good, good time. I'm coming around. Move that light. So, move that light. <laughs> Knocks the socks off of you, Gina. Wee, yes. What about the paper towels? We, we just use so many, Ron. It's unbelievable how many paper towels we use. Remember when... They put it back in the movie theater and deleted scenes. No, Dakota. Don't do that. Yeah, no. Someone complained. Oh, I remember that movie. Uh, is it Drew? <laughs> is it Drew or Saj? Yeah, I, I remember that movie when I was younger. It's like crazy. So, so here's the other thing that I watched. So the other thing that I watched was um, the making of uh, We Are the World. Oh, it's the best ones out there, the Viva? I did, Saj. Oh, Saj, you're laughing. Um, I watched the makings of We Are the World. Lionel Richie was directing, like, this... Uh, the making of it. You know, Quincy Jones, Lionel Richie was the one that produced, I, I don't know if I'm saying the right words, We Are the World. How it came together was absolutely amazing. It was so interesting. It was so much fun. I was super excited to watch. <clears throat> and it's great. You get to see all of these superstar singers. <clears throat> you get to see their raw personality. They was in there, they was in there drinking. They was hungry. Everybody wanted to go home. It you just thought that it would never come together. Just to think about if you guys know the We Are the World song how amazing it was. But in the background, just to be able to watch that and see all of the crazy nut stuff that could have went wrong or could have happened, you get to see it. It is amazing. You, you have to watch it. You have to watch it. If you know that song, you have to watch it. If you know that song and you grew up loving that song, you have to watch the making of it. It was so interesting. I am telling you, you got to see like Stevie Wonder's personality, Michael Jackson's personality. It was just great. It was like we, it, it, you, it almost made you feel like you was in a room with all these stars and you get to see how they all act. Some of them was frustrated because maybe they didn't sing music like that before. I mean, they got rock and roll singers, they got country singers, they got R&B, they got like everybody you can think of. The, the top, they said what they said. They said they wanted the best singers. Doesn't matter if they was rock and roll, country, R&B, whatever they was, they wanted them. 
and they was gonna put this song together and it was gonna work. And it worked, the rice is done. That's the timer going off. And it worked and the song was iconic. Please watch it, cause it's good. What is it on? Um, Netflix. Netflix, <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. They said at one point, Cause you know, they don't have cell, they didn't have cell phones back then. You know, back then they, they have, they have walkie talkies, right? And they said that the uh, people like in the background, like um, whoever they had doing certain things, they had them outside and they needed to know who was, cause they didn't know who was going to show up to, to, to do this thing. <clears throat> They knew who they wanted and they knew who they invited, but they didn't know if they was going to come. And Quincy Jones, I guess he told them, we're going to do this all in one day. And I know they was like, wait, what? Uh, but anyways, they're on the walkie talkies talking to the people in the building. And she's like, oh my gosh, Bruce Springsteen just went past. Cindy Lauper, right? Ray Charles. It, it was nuts. I was on the edge of my seat like I was there. <laughs> It was fun. You got to watch it. Guess to watch it. You do. Okay. Debbie Tollier says, I love Quincy Jones. <laughs> Tina had the best legs in the game. I wish my legs was like Tina Turner's for real. I know Valencia. And then, um, at the end, Lionel Richie says something. He says that his dad told him something. I got to turn my rice off. Don't don't let me forget, y'all. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Lionel Richie said that his dad told him something that he didn't really understand until he got older. He said, you know, my dad told me, like, the house will always be here. But the love will not always be there or something. Or the people will not always be a something. I could be saying it totally wrong. If I am, forgive me. But he said, I never understood that. He said, until I look back today. Because he was sitting in the building where they really performed this song. He said, and I think. And he was making a face like this. I'm trying to act. Look at me. I think I could be a good actor, y'all. He said, and I think back. And he was doing like this. He was like. Michael was over there, and Michael's gone. So that kind of makes sense what his dad told him. The house will always be there, but the love will not always be there. The people will not always be there forever, but the building will still be standing. So he said Michael was over there. Cindy Lauper sat right there. Stevie was right there, you, you know, and I was like, oh, I wanted to cry. I was all into it. Okay, so listen, the rice is done. I know some of y'all are just laughing right now. Like, Gina, you're nuts. Okay, you said Africa was suffering and folks were done. It's true. It's true, Ron. It's true. And in uh, before all of these amazing people started singing, there was a guy, Quincy Jones had told them. He said, uh, talk to them real quick and tell them the reason why we're doing this. And that guy had a speech and he talked about the people dying and starving and stuff like that. And they shined the camera and the light on Michael. And when he had said that, Michael looked like he wanted to cry. And I was like, this is good. I, I felt like I was a fly on the wall when they was recording. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> everyone to be a fly on the wall. <laughs> Let me get my right y'all, hold on.
He said, oh, great. Can you make mine? I said, of course I will. I said, you're the best husband in the world. He said, y'all don't believe him. Don't believe him for one second. He said, don't show off for YouTube. You usually tell me to make it myself. <laughs> no, I don't. I always make his play. He laughing. He laughing. Don't you believe him for one second. I'm playing. Uh, there he goes. I'm playing. I hope y'all heard him say I'm playing. There, I'm playing. There he goes. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm getting ready to make plates. Okay. I'm getting ready to make plates. Okay. Drew, what I was talking about is, is still on Netflix. Y'all, I'm talking about it was the best. Okay. So listen, I'm going to make his plate and that'll be like a thumbnail picture. And then I'll make my plate. I'm going to pray, we'll eat, and then we'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. Okay, Sonia, thank you. Sonia said, I heard him. She said she video recorded you saying you just playing. That way you can't change your mind. All right, let's make his plate, okay? I'm flipping the camera. And look, and look at what I've done. The kitchen is straightened up. We do have a sink full of dishes. But it's literally sitting in, you know, soapy water. But everything's cleaned up. And then over here, I got the stuff set up so we can make plates. Clean up as you go. Your life will be less stressful. All right. So now, write down... The movies that you love, and when I cut, when I sit down with my plate, we'll talk about those movies, okay? All right, I'm coming around. I'm ready for the crunch. Okay, this is super exciting. At the last minute, you take the cold items out, okay? We want cold. We want hot, we want crunchy, we want juicy, we want salty. All of that comes together and your taste buds will love you. Thank you, Sonia. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Okay, is my gravy nice and hot? It is. First thing that I want to do, put some gravy in a ramekin for my husband. Everybody loves the gravy. Now, one 32 ounce box will give you a whole lot of gravy. Box of your, uh, what? Chicken broth. Okay, if you use two, you're going to have a whole lot of gravy. So I'm going to fill this up for him. There we go. That's plenty enough. Mama J said if you still had to do YouTube and you weren't cooking, what would you do? If I still had to do YouTube? And you weren't cooking. Or I couldn't do YouTube. If you still had to do YouTube and you weren't cooking, what would you do? If I still had to do YouTube, but I wasn't cooking, what would I do? Um, I don't know. But I still have a lot of fun. I don't know. I'd, I'd, ha I'd make it work. We would make it work. Hold on. Am I paused for some reason? Is the video? You got to fix it? I just did. Okay. Am I paused or am I, am I not working? Let me know, guys. Am I good? Yes. Okay. All right, getting my husband's food. Let me skip this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If 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 I had to do it and I couldn't cook, I would still come on here and do this. Honey, how much chicken? Is that about right? You sure? Look, I got a ton. 
My baby needs I'm gonna kick yeah, yeah. Up. Oh yeah. Right. Okay, I'm gonna heat this up. I missed up. Okay, it, am I with you guys? Are y'all with me? Okay, let's see if I'm if I'm live. Am I still live, or did I lose everybody? You're still here. Okay, yes, I'm still live. Okay, great. I'm heating my husband's uh, food up. You're gonna see how I like to present it, and this is how I want you guys to present it and how I would like for you to eat it as well. I, I know I'm gonna even show you how to eat it. Hello, Shannon, truly blessed. Hello and welcome. I see you, Gina, see life. Okay, so now, come on. I have the chicken. Oh, uh, I said, come on, here come the dogs. They done ran. They smell the food. So everybody gets fresh lettuce. Put as much or as least as you think your family's going to want. They're going to love the fresh lettuce alongside of it. Put it right beside the chicken, okay? And we're going to put green onions over everything, okay? We're going to do rice. Oh, you, what? Yes. Okay, we're going to put green onions on the rice. And peanuts. Little there, a little there, a nice amount there. Okay? And then you nestle in the sauce. Y'all? This right here, <laughs> you will get all happy. And what I like to do is I literally will take the lettuce, the green onion, the chicken, and I dip it and you taste it and you dip it and you taste it and you dip it and you taste it. And, you taste it. and it's so good. Okay, so that's, that's what I want you guys to do. Okay, baby, your food is done. You ready? Is he gone? Okay. So that's what it looks like. Heavenly Father, I'd like to thank you today for this beautiful meal. And Lord, I thank you for everyone in this chat. Thank you for a blessed day. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, your love time, and your understanding. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen again. Amen. Amen. Here you go, sweetie pie. Right, Show the camera. Mm -hmm. About to get my babies. Oh, that look good. That look good. There you yeah. go. Appreciate it. Yes, I Thank am. You. I am, honey. Let me get a water. So you want a water? Okay, you want a pop too? Or just the water? You want both? Uh, just a pop. <laughs> <laughs> Switch that up, dude. <laughs> Since you want to do that. This is gonna do that. That's okay. You, I'm gonna you give keep you, that water. I'm gonna give you a water <laughs> and a pop. Okay. Right, you want a paper towel? Yes, I definitely need that. Okay. Because I'm about to go in. Okay, you about to go I'm in. Did y'all hear that? I'm, I'm about to go in. I'm going in. I love you, sweetie. Let's put it on top. Enjoy. Okay. Love you, boo boo. Put it in my pocket. Thank you. You're welcome. Can he help me up? Yeah. I'm, yes. Come on, Grab that. No, 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 no. Sit down. Mommy about to get your food. <laughs> Wait, let mommy get That wait. was a quick and it was, Sonia. Thank you. I got there, Dakota. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to make a plate for me. Okay, and like I said, I'm going to get to show you how to eat this thing. I'm going to get to show you how to eat this meal because... I, I feel like once you put the lettuce on somebody's plate, they're not going to know how to eat it. You, I want you to scoop the lettuce into the gravy, right? I want you to scoop the lettuce into the gravy. I want you to eat the peanuts on the lettuce in the sauce. But I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm, I, I'm passionate about this recipe. I'm super passionate about this 
recipe. Hold on, guys. Here. Come wear that. Give it to them. This one. Come on. <laughs> okay, so let me get my plate out. Where's my plate? Okay. Now, are you going to make your own plate? Yeah. Okay. So let me heat my chicken up. Hold up. He, he needs to go over. They need to know. That's enough. Let me heat it up. See, like beauty, it is. It's great to see you here today. Hey, listen, if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome. Thank you all for coming in. If you look up and you realize you did not give a thumbs up to the live, please give a thumbs up to the live. I appreciate you all being here today. Write down good conversations that we can have. Okay, write down good conversations. And we can keep talking and have a good evening this evening. And then when I'm off of the live, I'm going to watch movies with my husband. So I'm super excited for the whole day today. Okay, my chicken's almost heated up. It is. It's a family affair. My Holy King, I wish you guys. Y'all, listen. I wish you guys. I wish I could really like feed y'all. If I could really feed y'all, it would be super crazy. It would be super. I need a little bit of that rice. I, I don't. I don't need a whole lot. It would be super crazy if I could really feed you guys and y'all could taste my food. Okay, so I'm going in with the let for the lettuce. Don't, the, the leafy parts on the end, discard that, okay? A ton of green onions and peanuts for me. Kizzy, hello. Faze is the Angie, hello. I would be anxious to eat. I am super anxious. I really am. I, I know, I know somebody right now really can't wrap their brain around these peanuts, Gina. How come you have peanuts on here? Because it's something, ha it's weird. It's weird, but it's the best thing that you have ever tasted. It, it comes together so perfectly. Mm. All right, come on and show them my plate, and then I'm coming around. Lord, I thank you once again for hearing and answering my prayer today. I'm coming around. <laughs> I'm coming around. Okay, so when you do this, just put your gravy in a little ramekin, or you can just, you're going to put this away with plastic wrap, and it has to go in the refrigerator. This is your plate, okay? All right, here it comes, y'all. Gina, I would love to try your food. Maybe you can freeze some and send it through FedEx. I, maybe that would be super. That would be super. Okay, let me move this light. Oh, just hold up. Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. Almost lost you. Dakota playing around. You might have to plug it. Scoot it up there and plug it over there. It's empty. Huh? It's empty. Okay. Empty. Okay. Well, let me scoot. Scoot everything up. Okay, guys, hold on. We're getting there. I know I got to move this thing away from my face. We're all up in my mouth right now. 
All right, can you guys see me? Oh, I thought you dropped your plate. Y'all, if I drop my plate, I'll be making another one. All right, here, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is how you eat this recipe. Do I, is there enough lighting? Oh, that's good. Is there enough lighting? Just tell me. Okay, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Sea Life. <laughs> you see the wall? I think you can see me. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Shirley Clark, hey, welcome. Scratching and play. Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's let's do this. All right. So now here, come here, Dakota. Uh, what's happening to my Y'all, I'm the camera keeps doing a crazy thing. Dakota? Dakota? Okay, hold on. This keeps falling. Okay, okay, I think we're good. So, the camera, I know the camera is super hungry. So let's see what we can do and if I can show you. Remember um, when I turned around and I did the seafood boil and you guys were going nuts over the seafood boil? Let's see if I can give you a good picture that way. Oh, 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 oh. my goodness, look it, took it. Okay, so how about we get started? Thank you, Lord, once again for answering and hearing our prayer today. First thing I want to do, I'm going in this way. I'm going in, and I'm dippity dip, 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 and look at it. Oh, man. Okay, and we're gonna taste it. We're gonna taste it together, and I'm gonna show you how to do the lettuce together, okay? Lettuce together, I know that didn't make sense, but you know what I'm talking about. Let's taste this. <gasps> Look at it, oh, it kinda looks like lemon chicken. All right, let's taste. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Wait. Mm. Wait. Because the flavor is so good. Oh. oh. Mm. Lettuce, okay? Take you some fresh lettuce, dip it into the sauce, put you some peanuts and green onion on there. Okay, let's see. And just go for it. <laughs> I just dropped that one. Oh. But it's okay. I, I can clean it up. Let's try it again. Mmm. Y'all, something, mm, 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 mm. this whole experience is yet so interesting. I got peanuts, green onions on my rice. Take a bite. Dip the chicken. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Peanuts on the chicken, the sauce. Throw some rice on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So many of you, and so many people ask me, what is my favorite dish I like to make? It's this. 
What is my favorite dish I love to taste? It is this hands down, and I'm not kidding. Look, I got the sauce on the lettuce. You see it, right? Take a bite. Mmm. There's some peanuts. Mmm. 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 <laughs> mm. The peanuts and the green onions, when they touch each other, <laughs> how else do I explain this? When the peanuts and green onions touch each other, something exciting happens. It's so good. Mmm. 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 Mm. Okay, I'm going back in for lettuce that is soaked in the gravy. I want peanuts and green onions. Bite that. Mmm. Mm. It's a chicken sauce. Okay. I'm going to show you. This gravy is one of the best you've ever had. You won't know until you try the recipe. If you try the recipe, please let me know. This is life-changing. Wait, do I have a, what do, I, I, it's okay, we're going to be okay, y'all see that, 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 it's okay, we're going we're gonna to make it, we, we will make it, mm -hmm. we ain't worrying about the clothes right now, mm-mm, mm-mm, the gravy looks fire, hi Derek, thank you for coming in and joining us. So now, I don't know if I've showed you one where we wrap the chicken, dipped in the gravy, in the lettuce, and then we throw peanuts and green onions on top. Now, this right here is a bite from heaven. <laughs> oh, mm -mm. I, I need a bib, I know. I, I, I'm surprised I got this shirt on, but... Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Wait. Hold on, y'all. I got a peanut stuck in my retainer. Mm. Y'all know I have a retainer on the back of my teeth. Mm. Oh, I got it. I had a peanut stuck on the back of my retainer. That didn't feel good. Mm. Okay. Bernadette says, Gina, I will make it. You're going to refer to me as Gina Kung Pao Chicken. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Y'all, you ain't tasted nothing until you had this recipe. I've made it several times for you, maybe even on the live several times. But the world needs to taste this. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm. The chicken is outrageous. What happened to knock your socks off? I think 
everybody's socks is knocked off in here. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. You'll notice I'm not eating a whole lot of rice because I don't need the rice, like not like that. This is a match made in heaven. Mm. Adija, I'm going back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Brandon. Have you seen the newest color purple movie? I'm not interested in watching it, really. I'm just really not interested in watching it. I haven't heard a lot of good reviews on it. And so that makes me not really interested in watching it, you know? Of course, I probably will watch it. Right? But I'm not in a rush to watch it. I'm looking for other movies to watch. Um, I'll eventually get to it and watch it, but right now I'm just not interested in it. Mm. 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 <laughs> Ooh, it tastes good. Yes, it does. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Gina, my question above. If you're not into musicals, you won't like it. I've never been into musicals, never ever. So I might not like it. But I do like singing stuff where people sing. So my holy king, I like suspense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like. Oh, it looks like hot Asian mustard. Was it you that said you liked the hot Asian mustard? Somebody was telling me that they liked that mustard. I feel like it was you. Look, look at the meat. Look at the meat. The meat speaks for itself. Mmm. Gina, the movie called The Beekeeper is a very good movie. Is it? Let me write it down. Okay, hold on. You didn't get a notification? Oh. I haven't seen The Equalizer. Oh, that's a good movie. Let me have a paper towel, please. The Equalizer is a good movie. You didn't get one? Okay. Yeah, I'll let them know. I don't know anymore if there's anything I can do when you guys don't get one. Just, you know, I really don't know. Just keep checking to see if I'm live, you know. Check my channel, see if I posted a notification. Or just see if I'm live, you know. Like, I don't know what else to do. Because I've told them, I've sent them screenshots of people saying that they haven't gotten notifications. I don't know what happens. Huh? The best thing I can tell you to do is um, like resubscribe. Make sure your notification bell is on. Be sure to press all. And... See where it goes from there if you'll start getting more notifications, you know. Because I, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Excuse me. Oh. Okay, so it's Queen Latifah. Purple Love, welcome in. You said Denzel be having you cracking up. I know there's a, there's a lot of females. Mm. 
Um, there's a lot of females that think Denzel Washington is like everything and some. Even, I know he's older now, but when he was younger, they're like, Denzel, hands down. Denzel, this and that. Not me. I ain't never felt that Denzel Washington was gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous, or anything ever like that. Like, never have I thought that about Denzel Washington. I just never. That's why I was telling y'all the same thing about Usher. I, I don't know. I'm not one of those people that got, like... Usher, I wasn't excited about seeing him for the um, Super Bowl, and I really wasn't impressed with the um, his performance. You guys were like, what, Gina? But I'm serious. <laughs> oh, your sister said it was good, more of a musical. Okay. Uh-oh, sea life's beauty. Look at sea life's beauty. Denzel is good. <laughs> you like the new show on CBS, Paramount the Tracker? Okay. What is that about? Gina, Queen Latifah has a series on TV called The Equalizer. Oh, okay. Hi, Retreta. How are you? Welcome. Ice coffee, hello and welcome. Oh, okay, MDC, Miss DC. We was looking at Michael Jackson's Super Bowl, and my husband was saying, till today, Michael Jackson's. Super Bowl was absolutely amazing. Even with all of the technology that we have nowadays, Michael Jackson's Super Bowl was over the top. Even compared to the technology that we have today. You want to see the new Wonka movie? I don't even know what that is. Oh, you do, Ron. Is it right? You like Marley music? Mm hmm I know, Valencia. I feel the same way you do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm, I'm going to show y'all how much I ate. Because I, I can't eat too much, but I do want to give you an idea. Please forgive my shirt. I, it's, it's a mess. I got, I got a mess all over me. Okay. But I do want to show you how much I ate. Of course I kept the rice cause I don't need it. I ate a lot of the gravy, the lettuce, and I just got two pieces of chicken left. So overall, I would say I did a great job. I would say I did a great job. I'm nice and full. I'm nice and full. You're not interested either. You can't stand herd mentality. I don't know what that means. You said, I, I missed the rest of your message. All of Bruce Lee movies. Yeah. My dad was a true Bruce Lee fan. He loved movies like that. Thank you, Mildred. Redemption song needs to be played today for this world. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yep, Derek. Yep. Green. I've never heard of that, my holy king. Look at T-Love. I love Bruce Lee. Yeah, I, um, a movie that I enjoyed. What? Oh. What the heck is it called? I enjoyed The Last Dragon when I was younger. And The Last Dragon loved Bruce Lee. He loved martial arts. And that movie was just a lot of fun when I was a teenager. I mean, it was just a ton of fun. It was so exciting. Dear boy, thank you. You love me in Brooklyn. 
Thanks. Hey, welcome to my channel. Thanks for coming in. I love you guys in Brooklyn. I do. I love you all, all over the world. I do. So welcome into my channel and thank you. <laughs> That's how Gina learned how to fight. <laughs> I tell y'all what, my daddy taught us how to fight. He did. My son, y'all, my sister got in a fight. I, I could be wrong on some of the things. I believe we was coming home from the swimming pool and we would cut through the back of the school where the track was. A girl picked up a chair and hit my sister with it. I, I believe this is how this went because I was super young. But anyways, next thing you know, my dad had went out and, and he got uh, uh bathrobes for us. I know this is nuts, but it was fun. Bathrobes for everybody to put over their clothes like we was boxers. And then he got us some boxing gloves and he went to town and showed us how to box, how to hold our hands and all that, how, how to throw them, right? And um, I never forgot. When I met my husband, I showed my husband how to hold my how how I hold my hands and all that and how how I throw punches. And my husband was like, "Are you kidding me?" He did. He did. He said, "You had a good dad." I said, "You bet I did." I said, "My daddy showed us." I told him same thing. I'm telling y'all. My dad bought us boxing gloves and taught us all how to box. The girls and uh, my brothers. My dad was not playing. He wasn't. Uh-uh. He wasn't playing. Uh-oh, look at you. I'm not a Taylor fan. Especially since she's... Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Is that really? I've never heard that, but that's, that's scary. Oh my goodness, Derek. Stop, side. You that's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Stop. Y'all so silly. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Never mind. I ain't gonna get into it because y'all two are silly. Y'all silly. I don't either see life. I don't know nothing about um, Taylor Swift. I don't know much about her to even say anything because I really don't know her. I don't know her personality or anything. <laughs> hey, Eula, thank you for coming in and joining us today. We appreciate having you here in this chat today. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to have to take this apron off because I got stuff all over it. I haven't. I haven't watched The Chosen. Is The Chosen good? Y'all, I did a number on this apron. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Wee, I'm going to have to wash this thing tonight. Taylor is a good songwriter. Ooh, that's something else. Oh, Beyonce. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I know I know some things about her, and I do enjoy her music. Good night, Eula. Thank you, Shirley, for telling uh, Eula good night. Gina, what did you think about a boy fighting a girl 101? What did I think about it, or what do I think about it? That's funny. Absolutely. Absolutely, Renee. Yes. Nita, good night. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Uh-oh, we'll always be a vibe. Okay, Chris. Chris W. Oh, what do I think about it? I don't think a female needs to be fighting um, any males. Um, I, you know, I, I just don't think females should be out there fighting men. <laughs> and 
uh, men shouldn't be fighting females, you know? So, I, I mean, I don't agree with that. I don't know wh how, you know, what else to say. I know that there's going to be females out there that think they can fight a man and might even be able to beat them, but I, I just don't think it's right. <laughs> I don't think it's right, you know? So, um, it's not right either way. Whether the male is fighting the female or the female is fighting the male, it, something ain't right there. <laughs> yeah, some women, okay, so she said, Gina, some women fight straight like a dude. I do understand that, but I still, even if they do, I don't feel like they should be fighting men anyways. I don't. Oh, yeah, Blue Ivy. I think she does a great job. Uh, she does a great job up on the uh, stage. She's learning. She's uh, getting older and uh, doing a good job on stage. She might be very talented, just like her parents, which is awesome. And her parents seem like they have their you know, their head on straight. So hopefully they lead her in the right direction. I mean, she's a millionaire, you know. She has millions and millions and millions. And so uh, it, it, it'll be great to see her grow up. <laughs> I think she looks like her mom. I don't think she looks like uh, Jay-Z. I think she looks just like her mom. You said she looks just like her dad with the pinch of Beyonce. <laughs> uh Oh. Let's see. Yeah, 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 T Smith. You said Taekwondo? <laughs> or, or are you saying Kwan Do? Hi. I don't understand. I thought you were saying Taekwondo. I do too. I see more Beyonce in her, uh, like you're saying, Chris. She does. She does. Now, here's the thing. And, and I'm saying this to say um, when Beyonce was younger, she looks like Beyonce looked at her age. So that's why, that's the only reason why I say that. I do, I do think she looks like Jay-Z too. I see Jay-Z in her, but I, I see young Beyonce in her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm glad that my dad taught us how to, like, defend ourselves when we was younger and stuff like that. And so it's kind of like once you learn how to do it, you got it. Like riding a bike. You never forget how to ride a bike. So um, it was just a skill that my dad taught us. And it was great to have that skill. Doesn't mean you have to go out fighting and I grew up fighting or nothing like that because I didn't I didn't have to, right? I'm, you know, I'm pretty much a likable person. <laughs> At least I like to think that. <laughs> and I, you know, I when I was younger, I stayed to myself, y'all. I stayed to myself. I had about one, two friends, and that's about it. And uh, even to today, I mean, I have you all. I have all of you guys as my friends. But um, in real life, this in real life outside of YouTube, if you guys weren't around, I, I stick to myself and just my small circle. And that's it. And it's a very small. My small circle is like this. <laughs> my small circle, my circle, my circle is is as small as it can get. I stay to myself and I enjoy staying to myself. I really do. Thank you. Look 
at that. Where's my sardine whipped cake? Y'all, if you're reading his message, don't you believe it? Don't believe it for one second because he lying. Where's his sardine whipped cake at? Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate those people, uh, Naima. I appreciate each and every one of them. Even somebody that's watched years and years ago, you may have watched in 2017. And then, you know, I appreciate everybody that has ever stepped foot on this channel to, to look at this channel. I appreciate you guys. I really do. Yeah, Gina, he really wants a sardine cake. I bet he does. I'm not the one to cook it for. <laughs> he, I don't know how he's going to make that. I tell you what, Ron, you said what well, hot fudge? Hot fudge sounds delicious right now. <laughs> I, yo, I like hot fudge. I love hot fudge on ice cream. Oh, I mean, it's so warm. But you know, you know how the ice cream cools it down. But I love that thick hot fudge. We. That's right. And that's right. You said those quiet people will come back on you and surprise you. You bet they will. Especially if they had a daddy like I did. <laughs> they taught them not to put up with it, right? <laughs> oh, Shell Cook, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I really do. Oh, see, life, me too. The sardine cake. Get out of here. Let's see. Oh, my dad. Are you talking? Who had them Smokey Robinson eyes? <laughs> Who are you talking about? That's so funny. My dad didn't have Smokey Robinson eyes. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> my dad, when I was younger, um, my dad had a full afro, just tapered, just beautifully, like a perfect circle, tapered coming down this way, you know, like, you know. Um, my dad wore butterfly collars and bell bottoms. I'm talking about back in the day, back in the days when I was young, young, young. And uh, my dad is darker than me, always had a full beard. A full, real, 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 real dark beard. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, he, you know, after I grew up, his, his haircut was short. But, um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, um, like, if we, if we got in trouble, my, my dad... Um, you would get a, you would get a whooping, a spanking or whatever you want to call it. But my dad uh, would put you in a corner. He'd put you in a corner and, uh, you will stay there until he tell you to get out and you will listen. And when my dad told you to do something, oh, you was going to do it. <laughs> yeah, you was going to do it and you was going to listen. My dad did not play. <laughs> he did. My dad did not play. And um, see, I was the baby. I didn't get whoopings. I may have gotten like one or two whoopings like my whole life from my dad. Um, there have been times where I had to get in a corner, stand in a corner, but I remember my siblings getting in trouble, you know, but when I became a teenager, like a punishment for me would be, he would take the phone away for, uh, like, uh, a month and a month felt like eternity. It was the worst thing in the world. It was the worst thing in the world. And when he took the phone away from you, the phone would get disconnected from the wall. I know, I know. He would disconnect the phone from the wall and there was no phone. <laughs> or he, and then he would just um, take the cord off the phone and then you're like, okay, so 
<laughs> and I was in high school. And that means I couldn't talk like to my, I had one best friend. I couldn't talk to her. And I thought, man, this is nuts. And you would have to, if you were on punishment, that whole 30 days, that whole 30 days, you wouldn't get that phone back until, not a cell phone, one of the rotary phones. Bzzz, you know, you know, gotta bring the phone around and then wait for it to come back around before you dial another number. But yeah, my y'all, my dad didn't play. Uh-uh. But I respected him. You know, I respected my dad. I love my dad. I appreciated my dad. I wanted to make my dad proud, like always. I did. I did. A month. I know it was. And the phone was everything to me because I would get on the phone with my best friend and we could talk all we could talk forever from the time we got out of school until it was time to go to bed. And that's the only person I wanted to talk to was my best friend. And because uh, I, I mean, I can't remember what we would talk about, but it was just so much fun talking to her on the phone from the time I got home from school time I went to bed and then in the morning we'd be talking while we getting dressed um but yeah that that taking the phone he knew woo, he knew that that was like the worst to me <laughs> oh thanks sea life <laughs> You still have a rotary phone. Wow. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, tru truly blessed. That's great. And guess why? Um, the reason why it's great, uh, did you guys hear about the phones going out? Like three different, um, uh, what do you call them? So like uh, uh, three different, who, wh what am I trying to say, y'all? Was my dad intimidating? Um, he he wasn't intimidating. My dad never, he never um, scared us. But, I mean, there's, you, you know, uh, he wasn't intimidating, but he was strict. Let's just put that word. I'll use that. He was strict, and you would respect him, <laughs> right? And so, uh, but it was the best best dad anybody could ever ask for. Best dad anybody, I couldn't ask for a better dad. Best dad anybody could ever ask for. And he demanded respect. He demanded you to act like you had some sense. I'm so serious. And um, I am today because of how my dad raised me. But then also, I am today also because of my husband as well. I met my husband at a very early age, and he taught me a lot of things as well. So the two put together made Gina Young, the Gina Young that you know today. My husband has taught me so many things you could not imagine. And I thought, this is nuts. Like my husband... It's kind of like my dad, not, and what I mean when I say that, he, he reminds me of a lot of things like my dad. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so don't get that wrong. He reminds me of how my dad is. And I mean, I think I, I was probably 20 when me and my husband met. But like I said, he has taught me so many great lessons, so many things, so many things about myself that I didn't know and for the best. And uh, like I said, those two together teaching me things and, and growing me up, like I said, because me and my husband kind of grew up together. So, because uh, we've been together since 97. Okay, so you can figure how long we've been together. But um, I've learned so much from my dad so much and i've also learned so much from my husband those two right there my goodness if you ain't got it together after having them two in your life you wasn't trying to get it together <laughs> right i'm so serious when i say it 
Okay, let me see. You said Monique is your girl, but she does let him speak a lot for her. She does let him speak a lot for her. Who who are you talking about? Good night, Derek. It is it is awesome because uh, my husband is older than me. Um. And uh, he he had he just had he's been through a lot more than me. So with his life lessons that he has learned different things and seen different things and stuff like that, um, coming into our relationship, he was able to teach me a lot of things that maybe I didn't already know or maybe my dad didn't teach me and stuff like that. And it it's great. It, it's it's great, but you gotta be willing to listen. Right, you gotta be. If you ain't willing to listen, then you know <laughs> that was great. Say so. You gotta be willing to listen to somebody. <laughs> Let's see. I had some chips and a cinnamon. <laughs> Did you have that? You had chips and cinnamon roll for dinner. I tell you what, it doesn't sound bad. A cinnamon roll sounds good right now, and chips sound good. I'm still here, but I was just saying my internet is going in and out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Naima. Naima says, can't listen, can't learn. Gina, do you know anything about Kingston in Philly? I Okay, I I have heard that it's really bad. I have heard that it's super bad. Now, my dad grew up in South Philly. I'm pretty sure it wasn't like that when he grew up, but now it's nuts, right? And so um, I've seen videos about that and it's supposed to be like horrible down there. So it's so sad. It's sad to see and hear the stories. Yeah, yeah, my holy king, yeah. And stuff like that, that's so sad. <laughs> Naima says, at 50 plus self-care journey, hello. Do you know 50 cent? What 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 are you talking about? <laughs> you said to what are you guys talking about? What? I have no clue what you guys are talking about right now. I just looked at the thing and I see Thomas said, did you know tuna fish is original recipe? <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Oh, you have no idea why she asked about 50 Cent? I don't know what y'all talking about up in here. Gina, what's one of your favorite songs and why? Uh, remember, uh, the other day, I told you guys, uh, Five Steps. Remember I told you guys Five Steps by Drew Hill? I just love it. It's a song that tugs at my heart, makes me want to cry. I love the song. Five Steps by Drew Hill. I told you I love the song. The song is everything. Okay, but listen. I, I told y'all that. And I had everybody listen to the song. But now there's a song that my dad used to sing for, to me. Oh, my Holy King says that's a emotional song. But what else? Okay, okay, okay. So the, I got to get my... If I don't get my chapstick my lips will fall off my lips will fall straight off so i think dakota has moved it i don't know why he would move it let me get my chapstick okay oh crap uh oh i'm still here Um, so, uh, 
the next song would be please don't worry about this mark on me y'all it's food i'll get it off we'll survive right um oh what's the song angela casey hello what was that it was just my makeup bag that i have my lip gloss in it fell and it sounded like like the counter fell or something um No, I didn't fall. It was just my little makeup bag. It fell on the floor. So, um, the next song is this. Okay, listen. So you, let, okay, uh, 50 plus. Welcome in. I was saying, so tonight we just made Japanese Goyas. What are you making that is Asian tonight? Um, I made um, uh, <laughs> Warsu Guy. It's a battered chicken. And we made a chicken gravy, and you serve it with um, iceberg lettuce, green onions, and peanuts. And you serve it with the brown rice, and it is, it's the best thing you ever want to taste. Okay, so please feel free to re-watch this live so you can see how it's made, and you're going to love the recipe as much as I do. Guarantee. Oh, your lips are the same. Okay, so listen. The other song is a song my dad used to sing to me. So, uh, it's called, uh, let me, let me, I think I know who it's sung by, but I don't want to lead nobody in the wrong direction. Cause, cause if I say the wrong name, you guys are going to be like, you're wrong. Hold on. You're going to say, I looked it up and that was the wrong person. Okay. Okay, there it is. Donnie Hathaway. Donnie Hathaway. Donnie Hathaway is the singer. And the song is called A Song For You. And my dad used to sing that song Oh my goodness. And he talks about when we were together and I was singing this song to you. It's the best thing since sliced bread. The song is amazing. The singer is amazing. It tugs at my heart because my dad sang it to me. Not for no special reason or nothing, but a song for you. Uh, like I said, my dad will sing it to me, and so I love that song. And anytime I think of it, I just, I get all gooey inside a little bit. Because um, the, the song has a meaning because my dad will sing it to me when I was younger. Oh, okay, all you saw was Asian. Okay, thank you, Sonia. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to say Asian today because I maybe have done a, a live uh, before showing you how to make a Warsu guy. So I didn't want to title it what I've titled this before, right? So I said Asian food, right? So thank you for um, it's Warsu guy. You remember that song back in the day? An instant look at Drew. Instant classic. Oh my God. And guess what? My dad can sing. <laughs> Yo, my dad can sing. My dad can dance. My dad can sing. I told y'all how good he was on skates. But um, he he also used to sing this song to me. Um, uh, it, it, it used to say something like, um, it said, I saw somebody who looked like you do. They walk like you do, and I thought it was you, right? And, and so I can't remember. I just can't remember because he sang it to me when I was young. But he always sang that to me. What was the name of that song? Let me see. And it, and it says something about, I called out her name, but it wasn't you, right? So, uh, but he sang that song to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, 
You glad you caught me live? Rose, it's great to have you here. I sure am, Chanel. I sure am. And I will scream it from the mountains high. And my, hu my husband, he just gets a kick out of it. He loves it. <laughs> Uh, no, it wasn't. It was just a song my dad used to sing to me. It wasn't a tearjerker. Mm -mm. It wasn't. Now, the song that was a, the song that is a tearjerker to me is that Five Steps by Drew Hill. That song? Now that didn't come from my dad, but that song is amazing and for some reason I just I just want to I just want to start bawling crying from the first note that they sing. <laughs> Like I said, it just grabs my heart and twists it. <laughs> I love it, though. I, Sonia, I have done that before. I have did something to my phone and accidentally, like, deleted somebody. And I thought, oh, my goodness. It's like a pure accident. So I do understand. It's happened to me before. Which singer did you dress like when you were younger? Um, I, I didn't, I don't, I don't think I dressed like anybody. I don't think I dress like anybody, but I can tell you one thing. When uh, 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 Do you guys remember The Brat? I, I, I don't know if you know who The Brat is, guys. But she used to wear her hair in braids with beads on them. In high school, I did that. And I loved it. <laughs> yes, and, it was, and I would braid it myself and put some clear beads on the end. I had braids all over my hair. My hair, I didn't have hair added to it or nothing like that. And my hair was probably, um, I don't, let's see. My hair was probably like, like this long with beads on it. And, um, like I said, with braids. And, and I, I wore my hair like that sometimes in high school. And I really, I, I thought it was cute. <laughs> yes, she was functified. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, Valencia. Okay, okay, Valencia. Was I a tomboy? Uh, maybe so. Because the reason why I can say that, Drew, is um I will answer that by saying yes. And the reason why I'm going to say yes to that is because I never, ever was a female that wanted to wear a dress. I never wanted to wear a skirt. I didn't ever want to show my legs. I told y'all the story already. I never, ever wanted to show my legs. Um, I just, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of wearing dresses and skirts and tight clothes and stuff. I just never been that. Showing cleavage and all that. I just never, ever, never been that. Like that is never, ever me. Was never, ever me. Um, but the one time I told you guys about the one time I put a dress on the day my grandma uh, had passed. I just threw it on. I didn't know what to do. It was like a whole story. So I've told y'all, if you want to know the story, I'll tell you again. But I've told y'all probably a million times that story. <clears throat> I know, Keisha. Yes. See, life, what are you saying listen to? Are you saying the song Listen? If you're saying the song Listen by Beyonce, that song will make you cry. I don't care who you are. It is the best thing ever. 
Is that what you're talking like uh, about Sea Life's Beauty? The song Listen? The song Listen is beautiful. And when you hear like little kids singing that song, you say, oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Rose, I know that. Okay. The story from you, Gina, that got me was you and your husband in a plane with outdoors. In a, in a, in a uh, helicopter. <laughs> I'm here by Fantasia as a tearjerker. I've never heard it. Oh, you're watching a movie. Oh, Sinead O'Connor. Oh my goodness. Sinead O'Connor was such a great singer. You hear me? Hey, listen, Sinead O'Connor was a beautiful singer. Uh-oh, 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 seashells. Uh-oh. <laughs> what are you watching tonight? I don't know. It's going to be super exciting. Uh, we'll figure it out. I told my husband. Hold on. Listen to it, Gina. You'll cry. Okay. Tell, tell me again, Drew. Yes, she did. She did, Derek. I, I know all about it. She, yes. Okay, the sounds of my voice. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Y'all be going too fast, and then I... Okay, the sounds of my voice. Okay, and there's a song called A Long Kiss Goodnight. Hold on. Or is it a movie? <laughs> I'm writing it down on this purple paper that I can't read nothing on. I'm Here by Fantasia. Okay, hold on. Okay, so you said, what are we watching tonight? Well, I turned around and I told my husband that I watched the making of We Are the World. And I told him he must watch it. He said, we'll watch it, but we only gonna watch a little bit. That's what he told me. And I thought, I wanna watch all of it all over again. And so I feel like we're gonna watch a little bit of it because I told him I wanted him to see it. If he likes it, we'll continue to watch it. And I don't mind watching it a second time because it was just that good. So, I'm hoping that we can turn on a good suspense movie afterwards. Tears in Heaven? If you like sad songs. No, it's not that I like sad songs. That sounds horrible. Um, I just, I like a good song. I want it to have meaning. I want to feel you know, I want to feel the song. And I love when I see a singer and when they're singing, they sound like they're kind of crying a little bit. I'll be on the floor like, yes! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. The song your dad used to sing to you is by the, it's called You Are Everything. Hold on. I, I, you, you may be right. You may be right and I feel like you're right about that. See, see, life, you feel the same way? Mm-hmm. Oh, you like that, seashells? It's 
a nice song. It's a nice song. I've never been wowed by that song, but it's okay. Good night, Valencia. Hey, I appreciate you coming into the lives. Thank you. You have a good night. You do, Mildred. Okay. <clears throat> sea life's seashells. I keep wanting to. I keep wanting to say sea life's beauty for some reason. Seashells prosperity. Okay. Shadow, not shadow. Is that a song? Just you and me. Hello, Angie. Angie Fuller. Welcome. How are you? Thanks for coming in. Connor, a toddler, ran out of a high rise into the next building, several stories down. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Keisha. Okay. Correction, the st st stylistics. I, I, I think I know what you're saying, though. Oh. Stylistics, what? huh? What is that, singing group? Yeah. The stylistics. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Drew. <laughs> that is Eric's song. Who is Eric? You guys got some good songs here. I, listen, you would love what I was talking about earlier. You would, if you guys don't watch the making of We Are The World, and we can talk about it on the next live. Ice Coffee, how you doing? Hey, you better turn up on the Teddy Swim to turn me on to. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so you got, do you guys know about Teddy Swims? He's a singer. Tell before I go any further and say anything about him. Tell me, do you know, honey? Are you making coffee? Yeah, making You're making me some too. <laughs> We're gonna have a good night. <laughs> We're gonna be up all night. They was just asking what we doing tonight. Sounds like we gonna be up for a couple hours. He's making coffee. Oh, I just forgot. I forgot what. Oh, my husband. He said, do you guys know who Teddy Swims is? You turned me on to him. I, I, I didn't think it was real. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, so I told my husband about this guy. His name is Teddy Swims. I found him on YouTube, and I'm going to explain what he looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He, like lumberjack he looks like uh, a lumberjack. Somebody who cut down your trees. <laughs> he looks like somebody that will cut down your trees and, and, and jump up and do some roof work for you. Right? And... Um, <laughs> he, when he, when he, I'm smiling. When he opens up his mouth to sing, My God. Y'all, this man can sing a song to you and your mama. He can sing so good. I showed I showed the picture of him to my husband first, and my husband went like this. His face kind of went like this. I go, okay, I don't know who what you about to hear me. What what you about to have me listening to? The man starts singing, and my husband said, wait a minute. What this man can say. He said, You picked the right one when you picked him. He said, That one can he said no, he, he can, can sing. He said he now he not sing. He can sing. sing. S-A-N-G. <laughs> not sing. He said that man can sing. And he can. So if you don't know who he is, 
Check him out. Check him out. What's his name again, baby? Teddy Swims. Teddy Swims. Y'all, he sang a song like none other. And I'm going to tell you what the song is called. They said, Ron said, there is a difference. Sang and sing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetie, for mm -hmm. my here. Let's cheers mm -hmm. to our to mm -hmm. good night and a good movie. Yep. Love you, sweetie pie. Yep, yep, yep. I don't like Sade. Never have. Love Sade. You crazy? He said I love Sade. I'm crazy. <laughs> I, he loves Sade. I have never <laughs> liked Sade songs. Have a honey. Nope. I never have, and I don't know why. I can't sit here and tell you why I don't. That's not being fair. Because I got to have a reason why I don't like her songs. I don't like Sade's songs. And I never have. Look at y'all. I loved her. I love her. <laughs> look at y'all. Oh, no. Sonya, Teddy Swim. Okay, so let me look up Teddy Swim's in the song that I want you to hear from him. Okay, hold on. Uh, my phone is gonna okay hold on y'all when this man opened his mouth to sing you could cry oh he could sing so good he can sing you he can sing <laughs> some of y'all think y'all can read my mind you can't read my mind you can't read my mind you do Derek you love Luther Vandross. Okay, okay. What happened? Okay, hold on. Let me see. What was the song that he sang? Oh, no. Hey, Google, turn it off. Hey, Google, turn it off. I, did, I, did I just say, hey, Google? If you say, hey, Google, and you say a song, they will play it for you. It was getting ready to start jamming up in this house. That's why I started screaming, turn it off. Because what happened was, uh, all of a sudden, I heard in the dining room, because we have different devices in every room, to where if you say, and then you can say a song it'll just start playing all over the house just a second ago in the dining room it said okay playing something on YouTube that's why I said hey God turn it off how did that happen oh girl Cindy look at you talking about maybe you're having a bird box moment that's scary <laughs> Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Got a message here. Lose control. Is that it? Okay, let me see. Okay, hold on. I'm still with you guys, okay? But I got my phone down on low, so because I can't play music on here because I'll get in trouble. Let me see. Mildred. I've never heard of that one. Let me find the one that I want y'all. So I'm listening to that tonight, Mildred. And then let me tell you the one that I want you to listen to. Hold on. Hold on, God. Y'all stay with me. Hold on. Okay. Oh, there it is. Guess what it's called, my holy king? Everybody. Okay, so it's called, I Can't Make You Love Me. That's the first song I heard of his. That's the one I let my husband listen to, and he thought, he's okay. 
right? But then as he started listening to him singing different songs and other people's songs, he said, oh my goodness. Okay, so here it is. Teddy, let me tell you how to spell it. T-E-D-D-Y swims, S-W-I-M-S, -S, okay? And this is, I can't make you love me. <laughs> the, f the first two lines will knock you clean out on the floor, <laughs> especially when you see what he looked like. The first two lines, you're going to be knocked clean cold out on the floor. Okay, my holy <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Sonia, okay. I, I'm i not a fan of Sade, y'all. Sade never have been. I don't know why. But I can tell you what, I used to love Anita Baker. Oh, Anita Baker was everything. I loved her voice. She swayed like this when she sang. She was stiff as a board. Baby, who danced like this when they were singing? Anita Baker. Anita Baker. That was all she did. But it was good enough for her. That was all she did. She did this and that was it. But she would, but when she sang, it was like a lion's roar. Gina, I just listened. Okay, who just said that? Let me see. Let me see. Purple Love. Okay, listen. Purple Love Guy says, Gina, I just listened to Teddy Swims. <gasps> wow. Okay, don't stop listening. So here's the thing. Teddy Swims will sing all kinds of people's songs. He'll sing Marvin Gaye. He'll sing, listen, he will sing you a song. Okay, so, so I suggest you listen to I Can't Make You Love Me. That one right there knocked me out. Anita does. She has an amazing voice. Bonnie Raitt. See, I don't know who that is, Thomas. Superwoman. Yes, I used to sing Superwoman. I used to sing Superwoman over the phone to my family in Chillicothe, my mom's family. <laughs> when I was little. Hi, Jessica New. How are you? Welcome. Is that all you heard in your house? Oh, wow. Okay, Gina, Sade's voice isn't the best, but it's her band and arrangements. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand. Oh, okay, Bonnie Ray. Okay, so you're saying that's who made that song originally. So thank you. Okay, thank you. You Stephanie Mills for sure. Regina Bell for sure. Yeah, Karen White. That's the one that I was seeing over the phone when I was little. And uh, my mom would have me sing into her family, my mom's side of the family. They lived in Chillicothe. And my mom would be like, listen to her sing. She, we, we got one she could sing. <laughs> I'll be singing a superwoman to my family over the phone. <laughs> To do what? What you talking about, Mildred? <laughs> Anita Baker, yeah. I did. I did. I thought she was a little quirky. You know, she was a lot of fun, but I liked her. I really did. Um, I can actually say I liked her music. And then seeing her last night on the making of We Are The World, it was a lot of fun just to see her once again. You know, and it was great to see her at her age she is now. I mean, it's a total switch up. You know, she was a kid back then. But I, I did. I enjoyed her music, uh, Cindy Lauper. I didn't watch um, American Idol, not really. 
said that was your woman? <laughs> Patty LaBelle was your woman? <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I agree. I agree with what, what you're saying about Stephanie. Madonna, um, growing up, I wasn't a big fan of hers, but I just wasn't a big fan of hers. Okay, yeah, my husband said I was probably too young. Like I said, I was able to enjoy Cindy Lauper, but not so much Madonna. But my husband's saying I was too young for Madonna. Oh, she does. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, I, I'm going to have to agree with what my husband said. Uh, yes, it's Darium. You're right. You're right about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, truly blessed. I'll check it out. Okay, let me write it. All right, I'm writing it down. <clears throat> Run. And then the person <clears throat> before, and then you said monster. Oh, monster and uh, I saw the light. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm writing both of those down. Monster and I saw the light. Okay. Dakota? Dakota? I just heard something in the dining room. Look at, I got my coffee, baby. You drinking your coffee? I don't know if y'all can see. I'll show you how light I like my coffee. Mmm. It tastes good too. My goodness. I love the smell of coffee breath. Does that does that <laughs> does that make sense? I like the smell of coffee on my breath. I like the smell of coffee on my husband's breath. Is that weird? Oh, you do, Barry White and Teddy Pendergrass. Okay, Mildred. Pauline, hello. Did you see I haven't seen that movie? Yeah, Winona Judd. Mm -hmm. Okay, so turn. Oh, hold on. Yes, Saj. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know if I agree with that because uh, when I watch a movie, I like to watch it with my husband. I like to watch a movie with him, um, but if he's busy and I ain't got nothing to do, I'll watch something by myself. But if I had a preference, I would rather be watching a movie with him. Oh, you wanted to come on cable? Oh, that's your song? Okay. That's your song too, Gina. Okay. Oh, he was on The Voice. Okay. I see, I didn't know that. <laughs> you said it smells so fresh, but you don't drink it. Mmm. I'm hearing all this stuff about Wendy Williams. I don't know. I don't know. I think the whole thing is, is kind of sad. I do. Did you watch movies with my... I, I'm not really into stuff like that. Like, um, let's just say um, 
the Predator and movies with monsters and stuff. If it's fake, I'm not interested in it. I'm just not interested in it. Um, monsters and stuff, that don't that don't float my fanny. Like, it's something that I don't like about it. I want it to feel like the movie could really happen, <laughs> right? So, um, movies with monsters, not so much. Yeah, like the blob and stuff. Uh-uh. Yeah, Chris, me too. I'm kind of with you on that. I know, Sod. I, when it comes to that situation, that's what you just kind of pray because it's such a sad and a scary situation, you know? And I believe that they said Bruce Willis is going through what she's going through, like the same two diagnosis. And it's so scary. It's so scary, guys. God, see Godzilla and stuff like that. That's not for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're watching it now. Yeah. Yeah. But um, as of now, don't quote me. I could be, I could be, well, I ain't even going to get into it. I don't know. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting ready to say that, but you said it. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Martha, Martha Miller said, I am in love with Teddy Swims. I just listened to him. <laughs> was that your first time listening to him, Martha? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a whole sad situation. Uh, I'm not gonna watch monsters. I'm not into that. <laughs> Godzilla versus King Kong. See, I, I can't watch movies like that. Looks like I need to get another lip gloss. Oh, Gina, it's not real monsters. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, y'all gotta tell me, cause I don't know. Listen, did y'all enjoy the video today? Or the live? Did you enjoy our time that we had here this Saturday? I thank the good Lord for the energy and the strength, just the courage and everything to be able to do this with you all when I can. I really enjoy this. I enjoyed this special time on here with you all. Mmm, yeah. Yes, Saj. Oh, we love you too. Oh, thank you. Let me see what your name is. I, I didn't get to see. You're a great bunch of people. Oh, seashells. Thank you. We do. We really do. We really do. Yes. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you put a strong blessing over Ron Wilson and Kathy. Take care of them in any situations that may arise. Please take care of any situations that's already arrived. No weapons formed against them shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We bind the devil away from them in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, mend any broken hearts that have been broken. Heal any unhealthy things inside of them that is not healed. Take care of them in Jesus Christ's name. Give them a peace of mind 
peaceful minds in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, please help them and their family out. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let things get better. We know that things will get better, Lord. You are the most high God. We know that you answer prayers. You are a miracle worker, and we're asking you, Lord, to perform a miracle in the name of Jesus. And we thank you on today, Jesus, for hearing this prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hey, listen, it's done. You know what done is? Done. All you and Kathy have to do, believe it, receive it, retrieve it in the name of Jesus and know that God is in a blessing business. He loves to bless us and answer prayers, okay? So just know that everything's going to work out. And I'll be here to hear the testimony how things worked out. I will be right here. When you say, Gina, it worked out, guess what? Okay, absolutely. Yes, that's great. Uh, absolutely. It's a real good movie. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 I haven't watched that Informed Array. There you go, Cindy. Thank you. That's right, Sonia. <sighs> this was a good live. Well, I tell you what that makes look. It was a good live. If I look at that food all over me. If I tell you what, we ate some good food. We had a great recipe. We had good talks, good conversations. Yes, we did. I'd like to say we had a good Saturday today. Heavenly Father, we also put a special prayer in for Thomas that you bless over his body and healing from the inside out. Let him be okay, Lord. Protect over his mind as well. Take care of him and his family in Jesus Christ's name. Let him know that no weapons formed against him shall prosper. By your stripes, he will and is healed in Jesus Christ's name. And we thank you along the way for hearing and answering this prayer. Name in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> <laughs> you guys mean a lot to me. I have so much fun doing this. I have been up since. So I got up, I'd like to say about 9.30 this morning. Got dressed, did makeup. We did the um, Chicago dog. We posted that video, edited it, and got it out. And then I got all of the ingredients and everything out for this live. So I did that early in the morning. I just been hang, hanging out here, just waiting to go live. And so about 5.30 or so, we clicked that button and went live. So here we are. So it, it was a great day. It was such a great blessed day to be here. It, you think it's that? You are everything. It, it could be that song. I'm just not sure. I <laughs> don't have any more bird box. That's funny. The bird box was good. It, it was good. I just don't feel like, I don't think my husband's going to watch that movie. Not the bird box. I think it's too long. 
And I think, you know how when their eyes turned a different color? I think that part right there, he'll say, oh, heck no. Well, I'm done with this, right? Because it's not real. <laughs> you know, so as soon as he see that, he'll say, uh -uh, I'm done. I ain't watching that. Okay, that's it, purple love. Okay. Tell Mr. Young about the monster. Okay, I'll tell him. Okay, let me see. You're saying, Gina, in your community post, you didn't mention if anyone wanted to cook with you. Um... Or the ingredients. So not do that. So do I not do that anymore? Okay, the reason why I didn't do that is because... Um, the reason why I didn't do that is because I don't want to let nobody down. Let's just say... Let me tell you. Okay. Um, let's just say... If I gave everybody, you gotta wait, Dakota. If I gave everybody ingredients for what I was making today, I had maybe 10 people that wanted to cook with me, right? They went out and got the ingredients, and then I turned around and canceled it because I didn't feel good, right? Or something came up. I don't like to disappoint people anymore. I never like to disappoint people. So when I go live, um, I would just rather go live and uh, just go live. <laughs> and if you show up, you do. And if you don't, you don't. You know, and that way I don't have to let nobody down because I didn't feel good. And they went out and got ingredients before. It's happened to me where I've told you guys in the past, like, hey, Jeannie Young's going to be going live showing y'all how to make a delicious lasagna. Y'all done went out and purchased ingredients, and then I turned around and canceled because I didn't feel good. And when I don't feel good, I don't care, <laughs> right? I will cancel. And so to prevent that, just to be honest, I'm being honest, just to prevent that, I would just rather go live cooking, and if somebody wants to join me, they can. And then when they watch it, they can learn how to cook it at that time and then rewatch it to cook it later themselves. Okay, so hopefully you can, um, you know, hopefully you can understand that because uh, when my iron is low, I'm dealing with this low iron and stuff like that in days that I feel well, days that I don't feel well. I never know if I'm going to feel well or not or if I'm going to be okay half the day and then the rest of the day I don't feel good. Instead of letting anybody down, I just say, hey, I'm going live. I don't know when I'm going live. If you want to join me, join me. So that's just how, how it is for now. Until everything is on the up and up where I'm smooth sailing across the board like this, then maybe I can start posting, hey, Jeannie Young's going live and showing you how to make a homemade lasagna. And then I ain't got to let nobody down. But what happens if, because um, I tried to explain to you guys, um, what happens if I feel good in the morning and the time that I post for you guys that I was going live at 5 o'clock, I ain't feeling good. Then a lot of people got let down, right? So hopefully you can understand that's why I don't do it anymore. And that's why I try not to pinpoint times that I'm going, you know, because pe people will contact me through email in any way they can contact me. I thought you was going live. I called off work to be in this live, <laughs> right? And I done called off. So now, I go live. If you show up, you do. If you don't, you don't. Oh, it's beautiful. Collateral beauty. <laughs> okay, Sonia. <laughs> Collateral beauty. 
So hopefully um, you can understand that's the, that's the reason why. And then um, when I was, um, when I was um, doing that, and I would see who was cooking along with me. It wasn't, it wasn't, it seemed like hardly anybody was cooking with me. I may have had like one or two people in the chat out of 300 people that was cooking with me. You know, I just expected that I was, when I started doing this, I expected that I was going to have a ton of fun. Um... And all kinds of people live cooking with me. And that just never happened. Hold, hold on, guys. Hold on one second. Hold on. Okay, let me reread my message. <clears throat> here okay great okay sometimes we cook alone but mostly i enjoy doing your recipes after the lives or a few days later see i love that i i love uh, what sonia says um right see you move slow you get nervous in the server and it messes up and everything when you cook it's a must that you must take your time so you will benefit from also um you'll also benefit from like I did today. I went over the ingredients several times. You can always replay this. And then when you go to make it, uh, Mildred, Sonia, whoever, you can stop the live, replay it, excuse me, rewind it, fast forward it, and stop it and pause it. When you get to the next step, you can just play, you know, that'll help you guys out. But like I said, doing it like that, it's, I just don't wanna let people down. So now I wanted to talk about something that's really interesting, okay? I think you guys will really like this, but let me read my message. I just sent the message. Hold on. When I send a message, I like to reread it just to make sure I... Mm-hmm. Okay, so you said, I am a... What, what are y'all talking about, guys? Why is Thomas saying that? Yeah, we don't... Hey, listen, we don't talk political talk on here. We don't talk certain things. I just don't really bring up in here, you know? I, I just don't. 
it 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 doesn't make sense, right? Especially if we're a big family on here, we can have good times with talking about fun stuff, right? about Don King. <laughs> there you go, Ron. I like how Ron put it. He said, enough of that is on the, on the news. This is a break-free zone of fun. Clean fun. Clean fun with Gina Young. Fun in the sun. Think of it that way. Fun in the sun. No politics. None of that. We have good, clean fun. We're a family here, and it's like a safe zone. Before I come on these lives, I pray that we have a great time. I pray that we have um, good conversations, you know, and just a fun time. I always, and I always invite God into the live. I say, Lord, come into the live. I do. And so that's how we're able to have so much fun. Leave some of that stuff out. Leave the politics, all that stuff out. Sure you can. <laughs> Today, the moose. Sure. <laughs> A silence of the lambs was nuts. You agree, Ron and Gina? Absolutely. Why not? You know, why not? Sometimes we all need a break. You know, a break from the news, a break from the crazy stuff, a break from the politics, and let's just cook some good food and have fun, right? So that's how I like to look at it. Oh, that's a good one, my holy king. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You'd rather hear about sardines than politics. Oh, okay. Yeah, Naima, we don't really do that on here. <laughs> Stop, Drew. You know you funny. You are too funny. Hold on, guys. Oh, I spelled something wrong. Hold on, guys. The Shining was crazy, but the acting was brilliant. Oh, my goodness. But I told you, I'm not in... I'm not interested. I'm not interested in a scary movie no more. Mm -mm. Last, what was we watching, baby? We, no, we was watching something one day. My husband kept telling me, it ain't scary. I said, yes, it is. I said, I'm so scared. I kept saying, you got me, baby. <laughs> he wrapped his legs around me. He wrapped his arm around me. And I was like, I'm scared. I don't remember what it was. I'm not for, uh-oh. Hold on, I messed up my computer. I'm not for a scary movie anymore. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah, I don't want to watch that. Mm -mm. something but I think I'm gonna save it for my next live I think that my next live that I that I'm gonna do 
Um, we'll be in uh, like a talking live where we just come on and we talk and we're not cooking. And then someone had mentioned, Gina, it's great when you cook on Saturdays. And then if you do a live during the week, we can just sit down and talk and like have a good time. So I sometime this week when I go live, we're going to talk about something. Some really interesting stuff that I think you guys want to hear. You're too afraid now. I know you must be like me. I don't, I don't want a scary movie no more. I'm done with the scary movies. Mm -mm. I, I know. I know. We sitting there talking about, do you hear that? Yeah, I don't want to go through all that. Mm -mm. I never... Oh, I understand, Thomas. It's okay. It's okay. I just wanted to explain why I don't talk about certain things on here. I don't think it's worth it, you know? I don't think it's worth it, especially if we want to have a good time, you know? You, Drew, you know I do. You know I love the whiz. We what? So we're drinking it so we can stay. We're drinking the coffee so we can stay up a while. <laughs> it's funny. We've been drinking coffee late lately, and uh, my husband will be up until four thirty in the morning. <laughs> Won't you, honey? He said, "Hell yeah, I will." <laughs> he just looked like this. He said, "Hell yeah, I will." <laughs> He said, I feel it coming now. He will. He will. And I never, I, 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 I'm so glad. He said he'd be looking at me like he want to wake me up. He don't never wake me up, though. I think it's just, a, I think he just playing when he says that. But it sure is funny every time. Every time he says that to me, I laugh so hard. But he does, he does, um, sometimes he struggles getting a good sleep. And, and that's not funny, you know. That's never funny. <laughs> but if you're having coffee at a certain time of night, you may be up for the rest of the night. So many people say that little dolls freak them out. Twilight Zone. Um, I don't think that the thriller, uh, the thriller didn't scare me. I mean, maybe when his eyes turn, you know, at the end of the movie, his eyes turn funny color and he looked over at that girl um but for the most part i'd like to say that thriller was fun to learn you know to learn all the dances and stuff um so that's the part that i really enjoy the dancing you know more than it was scary because it wasn't scary oh you like see i i'm i was never a tea fan and what I mean by T, if you guys have wasn't reading the messages, I can drink tea, but I prefer coffee. I haven't seen that, Derek. I have heard of it, the Puppet Master. Oh, you love green tea? So I know the Asians... Um, they love green tea, matcha tea and stuff like that. And even black tea, I hear that it's really healthy for you. So tell me if you guys know. <laughs> Sardine master, don't you dare. Don't you do it. Oh, 
it's it, that's okay. So Chris, Chris W, if that freaks you out, <laughs> I don't know if you'll like the bird box. The bird box freaked me out a little bit. It was good. It was sure enough good. And at the end, um, when they told her to follow the birds, I thought it had such a see some movies have like the worst ending. I felt like that movie had the best ending. They told her to get in that river and follow the birds. She did. And where she wind up at, I thought, this is crazy. I would have never thought that. But it was, it that was a good movie. What? What did he ask me? What did he say, Sonya? Okay, you said they're not scary, but there are end of the world kind of type movies. Oh, man. Where does she wind up? You want me to tell you what I'm telling y'all to, uh, to, to watch the movie? I hate telling a good story. I, I mean, I hate telling a movie if I'm telling y'all to watch it. Do you want me to tell you where she wind up? I don't want to tell it if y'all going to watch it. Oh, you got to have caffeinated tea. Yeah. Look at me. I'm excited to tell you guys. And I shouldn't be telling you if I'm telling you to watch it. I don't like to spoil the movie. <laughs> Thank you guys. Listen, if you look up at any time and you realize that you haven't given a thumbs up, give a thumbs up to the live, okay? I came on here to show you guys a good time. That's the least you can do. So now, in order to give a thumbs up, you have to back out. Give a thumbs up. Come right back in because we're still talking. Visiting Arizona? Is that a movie? <clears throat> or are you visiting Arizona? <laughs> Alan, hot chocolate, I feel like, you know how you can get like the packets of hot chocolate? Um, the packets will always tell you to put some water in, make you some hot chocolate. If you guys just mix milk in it, it'll taste better. <laughs> it will. And um, I have a video, Alan, showing you how to make homemade hot chocolate. If you, hey, just in case you wanted to know. It's delicious. And I believe in that video. Don't quote me because I've made so many videos. I believe that I show you guys how to make a white chocolate, hot chocolate, and a regular hot chocolate. I, I just can't remember. I know I did it at the last house. Excuse me. Oh, yes, you did. Okay, great. Thank you. Gina, everyone, I'm about to get off here. I have something to do. Love you all. Oh, we love you. Thank you for coming in, joining us, and spending your Saturday with us. We appreciate you. Oh, Pet Cemetery. I can remember, like, hearing about it, but I don't remember the movie. So maybe I remember, like, family talking about how the movie was or talking about the movie, but I just don't remember watching it myself. I may have been too young. Maybe. You're still scared of those cats. I, t I don't like cats. I don't like cats. Ooh, I don't like them. Okay, give you a movie to watch. 
Okay. Um, I, I told you guys, um, I care a lot. Watch the I Care A Lot movie. It's amazing. I care a lot. It's really good. It, I mean, it's good. that before, uh, Sarge. It sounds so familiar. I feel like I've watched that. <laughs> the cat emoji is so cute, Sonia. That's a good one, Ron. That's a oldie but goodie. Well, I tell you what, guys, I'm going to get ready to get off of here. I think we had so much fun today. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. Don't go. Oh my goodness. Hey, it's never goodbye. It's never goodbye. It's never goodbye. I know, I know. I listen. You love cats and dogs. Not I'm not the cats can go. <laughs> I, when I say go, like not come in here. <laughs> I'm not a, fran a fan of cats. I am totally scared of them. I don't like the diamond that they have in their eye. I don't like how they hunch their back up. Oh, oh, they scare me. I would rather have a bullet constrictor around my neck than have a cat loose in the house. I would go nuts if a cat was in here. And I'm allergic to them. You see them cats do like that with their back? I think, oh, heck no, I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor. Uh-uh, don't do that. Do like the, uh-uh. That's too much. That's scary. I'd rather have a big Rottweiler walking around here. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> he said they demon. <laughs> uh, uh Saj, I don't like cats. And and nothing against if you guys love cats, just treat them nice, you know. I mean, nothing against cat lovers or anything like that, but I'm not I don't like cats. I'm afraid of them. And it's not so much I don't like them. I'm afraid of them. Yeah, <laughs> I'm scared of them. He said they sneaky and they wrap around your legs. Yeah, no thanks. Uh-uh, don't do that to me. Don't think you're going to wrap around my legs. No, 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 no. You know how, you know how they, they, they touch you? Like, so if this is your legs, they do. They, why they, why are you going to be all up on me? You know, a cat will rub up against you and their tail will be on. No, uh-uh, don't do that to me. No. <laughs> They're interesting. I bet you they are. Look at that. Chris said they bite too. See? Uh-uh. Cats bite too. Uh-uh. Dogs bite too, but but cats? Cat, I think a cat will jack you up. Sonia, until the next time. Peace, Gina. <laughs> Sonia, are you leaving? If you're leaving, have a good night. I didn't get to read your message. Oh, you used to be allergic to them? Yeah. I heard about the lady that slept with her snake. And he was sizing her up. Sizing her up until he could really get to her. Yeah, no, I don't. Uh-uh. 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 They have spikes 
on their tongues. See, I don't. Mm -mm. See, yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that before where they say a, a cat knows if you're scared of it. Mm. Listen, so years ago, I mean, this is many, many years ago, I did the home health care and there was a lady I had to go to her house. And when I went to her house, uh, she probably wanted some clothes washed and dried and maybe clean her house, make a nice meal for her and do certain things. She had cats. And the next day I went to the place that I was working for, I said, I can't go back to this lady's house. Uh-uh. I told him, I said, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I'm, I got allergies from cats. I'm scared. I was terrified on my job. I did, because I was scared. And I was, my throat was itching. And they wanted me to empty the cat litter. I was like, no. I told my husband, I said, I can't do that. I can't do that. And so I didn't have to go back to that lady's house no more. Uh-uh. You look at them cats. Them cats are just, just like you doing something. All of a sudden, a cat jump on the counter. Oh, no. See? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Good. You heard a gone with the wind. <laughs> gone with Gina. <laughs> Say, where are your client at? <laughs> I mean, where the worker go? <laughs> She's scared of the cats. <laughs> where the worker go? She's scared of my cats. And one time the lady wasn't there and it was just me and the cats. And I thought, oh, get me out of here. <laughs> Purple love. Purple Love says, wait, cats really do bite? Cats will bite your butt. <laughs> do you hear me? A cat will scratch you up. A cat will scratch your eyeballs right out. That's why I'm scared of them. I, like, no kidding. I'm, I'm serious, Purple Love. <laughs> me too, Derek. I love a small dog. Just a little teeny tiny dog. But I like big dogs too. Oh, Joni, thank you. Oh, <laughs> what happened? I just read Derek's message <laughs> and I let out a, oh, <laughs> Derek says, no, the cats, they eat the mice and then they rub all over you. Oh, see, uh-uh, that's too, that's a bit much. That's a bit much. Okay, it's dairy. I'm, I'm afraid of the dogs. So I get it. <laughs> I'm really afraid of them biting them. <laughs> it's dairy. You said, I'm really afraid of them biting and barking at me. <laughs> oh, I understand where you're coming from. But a cat, shh, boy, them things are sneaky. Mm. Oh, see? Uh -uh. I'm not into that. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Ron at Ron's message. We <laughs> he said hairballs nasty. I don't like them. It is. It's it's how they clean themselves, and they do say that um they are more of a clean animal, but just think about his message that he said with the cats and the mice. Oh, see, I can't. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. We. I told y'all the story that my dad said when he was younger. I must have been a baby or maybe I wasn't even born. But he told, he told a story and he was not kidding. He wasn't joking about it either. He said, because he didn't used to be afraid of cats. But I think this incident made him afraid of cats. So I guess when 
uh, my mom loved cats, okay? And she had, she just had a love for cats like all, her whole life. He, they had a cat. My dad said that cat ran the floor, went up the wall, over the ceiling, down the wall, and burst out the window. My dad said it was the scariest thing ever. And he said it was like that cat was possessed. He said it freaked him out. And so she never got a cat. I, growing up, <laughs> I never experienced living with the cat. And that's probably the reason why. I mean, that incident freaked my, my dad will tell the story. He say, Nina, I told y'all he called me Nina. Nina, that cat went through the floor, up the wall, over the ceiling, down and burst out the window. He said, uh-uh. He said, that thing scaled the wall, scaled the ceiling down and out the window. <laughs> it's a scary story to me. And maybe that's why I'm afraid of them. And I'm allergic to them. <laughs> Drew Moss said, no, thank you. Yeah, that really freaked my dad out. I guess this happened. Like I said, I could have been a baby or maybe not even born. But he'll tell you that story in a heartbeat. Ooh, the hairless kind. I think the hairless kitties are, they look even scarier. Thomas, see, he said no mice here or bugs. <laughs> I know, Thomas. Oh, they're unique to you. Oh, I don't want nothing to do with a cat. Mm. <laughs> Side said, Chris, I'm going to bring you one. <laughs> Called her cat in, a wild cat came in behind her and she tried to stop them from fighting. She got bit and scratched. Oh, oh my goodness. I've ne Is there a hairless dog? If there's a hairless dog, I think it would look so... You know what kind of dog I think that is so cute? The dog that has all of those wrinkles. I I don't know the name of it, but it has wrinkles all over it. And when it's a baby, it is like the cutest thing you ever want to see. Um, but when they get older, they're not as cute, but they do have wrinkles like all over them. What kind of dog is that? Oh, is it? Okay, it's a Sharpay. Not a pug, because I've seen pugs. It's not those. Oh. Cherry ice cream sounds great. <laughs> Cherry ice cream, welcome, and thank you for coming in and joining us today. There you are. Welcome in, Cherry Ice Cream. Okay, so Joni wants to know, are the peanuts salted? The peanuts are salted, but you can definitely use unsalted. Um, so it's really up to your discretion. Um, like I said, the whole ideal of this whole recipe is to have the juicy, crispy chicken this flavorful gravy, the cold lettuce, the cold green onions, the salty, crunchy peanuts. So everything is kind of like bouncing all off every taste bud that you ever have. You have the want for salty, crunchy. 
You want the juicy, you want the meat to be juicy and crispy. You want this creamy, um, flavorful gravy, the cold lettuce, the cold green onion. It's just, it's amazing. And if you make it, you will love it, guarantee. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Oh, you have Frenchy dogs. I think they're cute. Mastiff. Oh, oh, Mastiffs are cute. They're, they get big, but they can be cute, especially as babies. Oh, Westies are cute too. Oh, a Sharpay. Yeah, Bible sister. How you doing? And welcome in. They're wrinkled. Okay. My dogs, they're doing great. They are sleeping knocked out cold. They're sleeping knocked out cold. Yes, they are. They're doing just fine. Oh, my computer just died. Look at that. Well, I'm not going to be able to see the messages on my phone here. So I'm going to go ahead and get off. My computer is dead right now. So, um... Like I said, when I get off, it's never goodbye. It's I'm going to see you on the next live because there will definitely be another live. Um, and then when I do the next live, I want to talk about something really interesting you guys will find to be very, very interesting. I think we had a splendid time here. Be sure to watch the video for the um, Chicago Dogs. Chicago dogs are delicious. Tell your family and friends. Tell everyone you know about Gina Young. Excuse me, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. I'm glad you guys were able to come in and say hello. I love you guys so much. Give me a big hug before we get off of here. We ain't getting off of here without a big old hug. I run, tell Kathy I said hello. Give her a big hug for me. Give me a hug, guys. I love you so much. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. I love you. And once again, welcome to the new subscribers. Thanks for coming in to everybody who, who joined us today. Feel free to watch the replay of this. And if you're going to make it, uh, message me and let me know what you think of the recipe. It's a lot of fun and it's delicious. God bless. Thanks for watching. Good night.